Let me go. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica, also known as I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. Uh, I'm going to run you through our shows that we have on the channel and then make someone else talk. So, uh, obviously, tonight, the Iowan Adventures, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, jammed by Cottlesworth and featuring uh, Daniel and myself. Um, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent, a uh, game that is DM'd by Mr. Markham at 8 p.m. EST. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at uh, 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. Saturdays, we have The Moonstone Matriarchy at 8 p.m. EST, uh, DM'd by myself. Not this week, though, because we only play three weekends a month. Um... Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and YouTube for more shit and our Discord. So, the shit, did she just, I just see Pi crying? <laughs> Pi, take it away. Hey everybody, I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me on various socials as Pyrea. I'll be uh, Lewin Olympus, the uh, chronology wizard who has her chronology spells back hells yeah uh let's let's go uh technically down on my zoom call to caro hey caro hello um you can find me at imaginary caro on tiktok and corner caro other places that i don't do anything on um and i will be playing gilly our barbarian who has her little octopus back yay <laughs> um let's to the left daniel that's me Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I will be playing Damascus Silva, the half elf bard warlock, who, uh, what happened to my patron? Why you, why you hurt my patron goddess? It's mean. No reason. Uh, James. Wrap it up. Hey, uh, I will wrap it up. Hello, I'm James. <laughs> I go by Mazrix or Mazrix. I don't know why I'm coughing. Uh, Mazrix or Mazrix24, pretty much throughout the internet. Tonight, I will be playing Art of Dezark, our Circle of Stars Druid. And uh, you may see uh, an appearance, possibly psychically, of the soul that is stuck in my body, of the storm sorcerer Varian Arbor, who sort of shares a body with him. Um, if I'm not talking, you might watch me eat eating a bunch of chips. But like, let's play this game so that the snackage can commence. <laughs> I need my chips. Um, who's uh recap, Dan? That's me. I am recap. <clears throat> Last time in AA. Our heroes follow through on their plan to sneak attack the first elder druid Anya and her gross bug demon boyfriend with four arms. After a few awesome Nat 20s to start the fight, Faza manages to vortex warp them all into a pit of lava only to learn that one is immune and the other is resistant to fire. Which makes sense, since they, you know, live in this fiery hellscape demon world that we find ourselves in. So our heroes are forced to do it the old-fashioned way, and despite a few, de few chain demons falling from the ceiling to get in their way, they're able to defeat Dogbreath and Dogbreath the demon boyfriend with relative ease, as Winter wails away at him with divine power. Meanwhile, Anya gets her arm blasted off by Varian, who, up until this point, has spent the fight wrestling with himself over whether or not to get involved. She tries to burrow away to freedom, and finds herself face to face with the still invisible Varian. Desperate for answers, he tries to telekinetically hold her in the air, but is no match for her newfound strength. Before Han Anya has a chance to strike back, Faiza blasts her with dark energy, disintegrating her into a pile of dust. So much for getting answers. Sometimes you need to just disintegrate a bitch. They then speak with Vistrixen's mommy, the demon goddess Apna, who reveals that she had been sharing parts of her soul with the Terraciel, recycling them in a manner not unlike the goddess Belloth's big glowy ball of souls. Except that her husband had been reborn as a Rev's cousin and was causing the souls to come back faster than expected, leading to the evil zombie tiefling army that the party had been attacked by prior to being pulled into this demon world Narak. So, Mommy Apna tells them to get back to Iowan and clean up her family's mess, opening a portal on this side of hell as Damascus snaps Belloth's coin, allowing her to open a portal from the other side. 
The Strixon tells Arev to take Renanel with him when they go, but Renanel doesn't want to leave. And Varian, excuse me, and Arev doesn't want to make him doesn't want to make him go. But a deal is a deal, and he doesn't have a choice. It's all very emotional and sad, but basically the Strixon just wants his boy safe, and he would never be safe in Narak. So I love you, but please leave. Where is the rest of it? Ah, <laughs> I walked away up. and I forgot. <laughs> Belath tries to put her foot down on the idea of bringing a fiend back to Eowyn, but Arev is all tough and manly about it, and Belath relents, clearly reasoning that she can just kill Renanel if it comes to that. The entire time, Nua Lewin is giving Belath the stink eye, despite Belath being pleasantly surprised to see her alive, and the time wizard Redux even asks if there is anywhere else she can go instead of jumping through Belath's portal. But Vistrixen tells her that this is the path home, even if Belath is there. So they all jump through the time portal together, a rev carrying Renanel and Damascus holding Belath's hand. Speaking of hands, a giant bronze one takes a swipe at the party as they travel through the dimensions, but they make it back safely, to the exact place and time where they left, in the treetops above Thon, with zombies approaching, Talon, Callum, and Bysis fighting somewhere around us, and Beloth on a platform across from them. And then someone plunges a clearly magical sword through the Goddess of Light's chest, and Beloth begins to fall. And that is what happened last time in AA. Nice. Okay, uh... so... Picking up from there, the last thing that you guys saw, where are my notes? There they are. Last thing that you guys saw was you were back on Iowa and split between three, three, three platforms, like Dan said. Um, Belos on the uh, the one directly opposite of bo oh, both of you guys, uh, both parties. Um, and she looks at you. She opens her mouth to speak. A blade is thrust through her chest. You see a small explosion ripple through her. Um, and then her jaw goes slack. She looks down at herself. So uh, gold blood begins to ooze from the wound as the blade is pulled out, soaking her white dress. And you hear her say, are you fucking kidding me? And her knees give way uh i did some rolls all right so here is what here is what happened for these belloff's knee, knees give way and she begins to sway teetering forward rananel dives to grab her but is caught by a massive hand that he can't get out of. He gets caught and just hoisted up and more or less restrained. And Beloth tumbles over the edge into the group of zombies coming up at you. Falling. Many, many feet to the floor of Iowan. Presumably dead. So, I'm going to let you guys take your little potions that Vistrixen gave you so that you can heal up. Probably wise. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely drink the potion. Do we see the thing that the hand is attached to, or is this like invisible? One okay. moment. Mm, cool. <laughs> so is this I'm a just bronze colored hand or where yeah. we're at right now. No, it is not a bronze colored oh, hand. Okay. Oh, another ah, giant hand. Good. More hand. <laughs> All right. Uh so you're back on Iowa and split between those three platforms. On platform A is a Lewin, Winter, um a Rev, and uh Bysis. On platform B is Faza, Damascus, uh, Gilly, and, uh, well, at will be Talon and Callum. And on platform C is Renanel being held by Edouin, Esme, and Inspiria, which Arev knows is um, 
Phyllis's uh, mother, um, okay. as well as Roy, who is on a tree branch, kind of trying to grab his wife, Shaylith, and pull her out of harm's way. Um, so from below you, you hear, I'm not leaving without him. You hear Bysis go, we are going to die if we stay here. And a scuffle. And then you hear an oof from Bysis. As you hear a voice, Alewin, that you have not heard in a very long time. Oh, fine. One moment. And our Archfey, Talon, transforms out of his dragon form, his little fairy dragon form, into the beautiful elf that we know him as. Long blonde hair, glowing eyes. He grabs Callum and takes to the sky, levitating them both up onto the platform beside you, um, Damascus. And up, struggling as he beats away more zombies, uh, Pisces lands on the other platform with a rev. So, roll for initiative. But I have advantage on that. Didn't help much. Laywin, I think the answer to your question is very. Like very the ground what? is very far below us. Mm -hmm. Just how tall the platforms okay. were. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You Fall guys went up a long, a long way. Okay. So we can't we can't see the ground at all. Not at all. Okay. You and see all of... zombies and tree bits. Okay. okay. And all of these platforms that we're on, do they do they vary or are they all like the same? These three are across from each other. Okay. The ones that are um there like, are a few that you can see around here that are 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 lower. So they're about um about ten feet down. Okay, 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 okay. And currently swarming with zombies. Okay. Yay. I got an uh, a rev. for initiative. Oh, 18? One second. Let me <clears throat> put that in there. Uh where is Gilly? Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. Your name is Muriel. That's what it is. 18. Hmm. Uh a rev. 17. 17. Arev's not fucking around right now. Damascus. None of us are. Uh, dirty 20. Ooh, okay. Yeah, your goddess just went down. Uh, Lewin. 23. 23. Ooh. No one is fucking yeah. around. <laughs> my my bosses did not roll nearly as high. Um, Winter. 13. 13. Thir Winter's like, what the fuck? No, Belloth, I love you. Um, no, it's frozen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put him at 14 because no, Talon is there. Talon 13. You guys, no, you guys are going whenever I say you go. So they go at the end of the round. That's what we're gonna do with that. Um, uh, Faza is fucking around. She got a five. She got a five. <laughs> Faza's in shock. Yeah. Um, Fair. now let's she's change. gonna find out. Uh, you go at 20. You guys, you guys go because your layer actions at 21. Layer actions, yes. The horde is a layer action. Hmm. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. And these guys will go at one, two. Vices, if he had actually rolled, was getting like a 25 to like fuck, fuck around and find out, guys. <laughs> and four okay hey um this seems like a good as good a time as is any who who's spices <laughs> i definitely <laughs> forgot <laughs> you i don't you would never met him in okay. the very uh my very first bbeg for this game uh was bisis um oh. that he killed um threven and was going to kill phasa he was going to sacrifice them as 
as to bring back the darkness, the unknown. Um, and I had this awesome encounter set up at the very uh, top of a massive spire of ice. And uh, he was like, he was such a badass. Daniel, the first round, casted defenestration and kicked him through a wind, created a window, kicked him through it and off the other side of the mountain or out the spire all the way it. to his mm -hmm. death. Um, it was, it was, it was so cool. Um, but he's a winged tiefling, so okay. <laughs> they didn't know yeah. he's also dead. The, yeah, he was already dead. He's like I'm a zombie, sort tiefling. of. He's trapped in time. Uh, and then Elewin made a deal with him to help bring back uh, Inimus, her teacher. And it was sealed by a fae. Yep. So that's um, why he's helping us. And we're helping yeah. her. Thank you. Yeah, she, Damascus still <laughs> in, wants to kick Which him off I'll give you even more of that backstory. Inimus is uh, obviously Elewin's teacher, but also um, the person who trapped him in time. Because, uh, long story short, he died and it was because of her, and they were uh, very much in love. Mm. So she trapped him in time, except it can't really keep his body going. So she's had to constantly fix him. Cool. Did Inna <laughs> come through with us? She did, right? Yeah, uh, she's okay. in your, in your, you have her, you have the ability to bring her back. Mm. Um, sorry, I should change this just a little bit. Okay. So, go down. Do the thing. Do the thing. Um, where are my notes? So, now that Bell has fallen, where am I? Okay, so below you, you hear a frenzied and relentless cacophony of scraping and scratches, as accompanied by the occasional groan and screech of the horde of zombie Terraciel as they pull themselves upwards towards you. They are very very close and almost being almost able to grab you um now that uh beloth has fallen you can see who is on the platform behind her esme you remember her face twisted now um once pale skin seems to glow as if infused with some dark power, she wears a flowing robe that seems to move on its own, like it's a living thing. Almost symbiote-ish. Her hair, a dark ash brown, is intricately braided with black feathers that twitch with each movement. Her eyes, once a cloudy white, now burn a bright red, with unholy fury, her arms are covered in in three pronged translucent trans I can't even talk translucent tentacles that wreath and pulse, while a massive wreathing appendage protrudes from her back. In Spiria, a f uh, Phaelus's mother, a female purple tiefling, stands tall. While confident looking, you can tell that she is very much still one of these undead. Um, two broken horns on her head are almost lost in a shaggy black, in her shaggy black hair that is knotted and gnarled as it falls over her shoulders. Um, her eyes once full of life, now appear glazed over and milky white, giving off a very eerie look to her. Standing next to Esme, the tiefling skin appears to be decaying, with visible patches of flesh missing, and only bony fingers remaining, sharpened into points for her to use as weapons. Uh, despite her grotesque appearance, the tiefling exudes a sense of power and danger. And then, the last one. Edouin Arbor. 
the Lord of the Nether Hive. A large pink tiefling towers above you with shaggy braided white hair that cascades down his back into the floor. His black eyes glint with glinted or glint in the light, showing you that when he catches the light just right, yellow irises appear. Um, his long purple horns are twisted and gnarled like tree branches. His black silk clothing is adorned with gold detailing in the same style as the creatures that you've saw in Narak. Uh, very, very similar to almost what, to what Vistrixen would wear. Um, it's, his clothing is draping over his form um, revealing a very muscular build to you guys. You, he looks like a beast. He is adorned in a plethora of gold jewelry that seems to accentuate everything. <laughs> you okay? Uh, his long black claws, uh, are a perfect end to his fingers. I'm just waiting. I want to know what you thought there. Um, yeah, let me know. I'm just... <clears throat> I hate him. You hate <laughs> him? Just... <laughs> I just need him to not exist. In your head, mm -hmm. you can hear very enraged. What? What is he saying? So that's the sort of a bitch that I died for. Rev, can you fuck him off for me? When he says that, for this fight, and for this fight only, you have access to Varian sorcery points. Ooh. That's cool. I love my boy. Do, do I have access to his sorcery abilities or just my own? Um, not not his spells, his his meta magic abilities. His like meta his magic options. abilities. I'm gonna say yours, but he's giving you the ability to use yours a lot. Okay. What do you have? Hang on. What do you have as yours? So, uh, with Arev's um meta magic adept feat, he has twin spell and transmuted spell. Varian's is um much more adept. Uh, twin spell and transmuted spell is good. Okay. Um, and then we will start at the top of the round with our zombies. As they, full of rage and mindlessness, scrabble towards you. Um, let's see what I have made them do. Also, you do not want to die by them. I'm just letting you know this now. You do not want them to be the ones that kill you. Damascus. Yeah. Does a 25 hit? Let's shield. No. Shield? No? no. Okay. And neither then would a 24. Perfect. Correct. You lunge back, put up a shield as fast as you can as these zombies die for you biting and scratching but you're quick you're paying attention you're focused on the fact that hey i need to get belleth back or this world is fucked yep. i'm gonna do something different for this fight in case you guys want to plan anything the next people up are alewin Damascus, uh, Gilly, and a Rev before a bad guy goes. Do you want to plan your attacks? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I feel yes. like this would be a great opportunity. I will give you the, I will give you a moment now to go ahead and and plan your attacks. Um okay, uh just for clarification for me, like Pi, um these zombies obviously are for blood, um, but are can I tell that they would be fairly easy to take down? 
like that they're decrepit and like falling apart and, by they, themselves pack a punch. one of them is very easy to take down okay but, but they together, are overwhelming in numbers so okay. you will you can definitely attack them you can take down some of them but there will be more to take their place until a certain number is reached okay stormtrooper rules can i ask a question yes uh, I'm looking at the tree of bad guys. Okay. Uh, who is who? Just because it's a little hard to tell because, like you said, one of them is a pink tiefling, but I don't think that this pink person is that pink tiefling. Who's who? All right. Oh, this is Rananel, and he has been picked up by this guy here. This guy okay, right here so... is is um, Edouin. The yellow one is Edouin. Okay. Um, Yellow's and I'm going to put, I'm actually going to move Rananel off the board for now because he's okay. in the way. Yeah, that would make it a little easier. Okay, but we're just going to pretend is... that Rananel is there. So, okay. the yellow is Edouin, and Spiria okay. is uh, the pink one, okay. and the blue one over here is Esme. Who is Esme? Okay, that makes my sure. life a little easier um i mean i'm i'm planning on booting it over there for the big bad guys and just whacking away but unless if somebody has a cooler idea i'm down so, a rev turns to elaywin and he just quickly shouts <laughs> have you seen anything like these before what are you thinking a great question um dm have i seen anything like this before um no including no. in other timelines okay including in other timelines because on Iowan um there are there were no dead walking the earth until until this all started yeah, yeah. there was yeah. no necromancy yeah so there are things that like she can't see uh <laughs> hasn't seen uh not not that I seen and uh clearly huh, we're going to want to stop them <laughs> okay then there's far more of them than there are of us and i think it's in our best interest and as he's saying this his body's gonna begin to shimmer as he takes a few steps towards you and his entire skin ripples as he activates the starry form of the dragon um, and he you just... still have to wait on wait till your turn. You guys are planning your turn. Oh, it, I mean, yeah, like it, it in my planning, <laughs> okay. in my planning, I'm telling you, I'm gonna activate the Starry for the Dragon, and when we release our plan, um, that I, it's my intent to do so and uh, activate a wall of fire. Except it's not going to be a fire. I'm gonna access those sorcery points that Varian has offered to me, and I'm going to transmute the wall into some sort of other element um i'm i'm thinking radiance because i'm picturing beloth being removed as a bad thing for them they wanted to remove the radiant light so i'm going to mimic her light and throw up a beloth wall and uh just rack this radiant light through the arena and in my dragon form spread these wings and basically concentrate on creating this glittering radiance to protect us love it um, okay. Damascus will just go I'm thinking I'll get some they've got minions I might be able to summon up some minions to help us too as mm -hmm. I reach into my coin pouch and start like trying to grab 10 gold coins to cast animate objects on hey. <laughs> okay okay nice nice I assume my role will primarily be getting in between zombies and you guys and swinging my pointy stick at it but if y'all have any other ideas, I'm open to feedback. If we can all get to the platform over north, north of us, um, I can set a wall to keep these creatures uh, from getting to us. It'll slow them down. Excellent call. Okay. Like Do it. you want to hold so your turn then, Alayla? It might take a while. Yeah, it might take you some time so, to get across. Because it's yeah. going to take, I mean, like, I can dimension do door. I could dimension door. And I think if I upcast it, I can do two people. So I could take two of us. 
but then I'd be right there, you know. And you don't want to block any of us out of the wall. Right. So I have to wait for everybody to get over there. Mm-hmm. So if if that's the game plan that we want to do, do we know who can sh- like move us there? And then like I can hold my action and cast the um the time wall. Beza um, is like, I could I could probably get two people there. Beza can vortex. Beza can step. Can Talon or Callum do? He can vortex warp as well. They're up. Yeah, vortex warp only hits one unless it's twin spelled. Uh huh. And she's has. a sorcerer. Does she have twin spell? She does. Okay, yeah, never mind. Cool. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so she can bring two people. Are we bringing our um, friends like Talon and Callum and Bysis? No, we're They're just going to leave them to get chomped on by zombies. Thing, right? Like I thought they were with us. On their own. They're with so us. So the Bysis is on this side. Uh, Callum and Talon are over here. Yeah, they're just on the platform with us now. They're here. Mm-hmm. Um, I so my my wall, I can I can break it. I can design it, right? So I can theoretically create a wall, make a street shot, like through to sort of like protect them. Mm-hmm. Or at least damage things that are getting close to them. I don't know how much it will protect them, but, but it will do something. <laughs> Stressed. I mean, <laughs> I if we're going to go just try and wail on the bosses, I vote we bring everybody to wail on the bosses. Okay. Seems like a good I, call to me. I can Dimension Door as well. It just means that I won't be casting my animate objects right now. Yeah. Um, I can Dimension Door. I can grab, like... I'm assuming that that the archfey that just flew up here can fly himself somehow over there. He's still in the air. Oh, yeah, they're floating. So yeah. Okay. Callum is is on the platform. He's still in the air. So I can grab Callum and bring him over, or I would probably grab Faza and bring him over, and then Faza can dimension door or can uh, vortex warp Callum and Gilly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then that'll take care okay. of basically this north entire platform. And then bottom Winter platform. Fly. Bottom platform. Winter can okay. fly. And I can I in so my can... dragon form I can fly too. Because I okay. at this at tenth level, I get my wings. Yeah. So then a laywin can just dimension door her way over if she wants to grab um Bisis. Bisis. Yeah. And, and then we just spend our there turn just being like Teleport to bosses. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, we we all rolled pretty fairly high, you know, and we can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that the plan? Yes. Is that what we're doing? Um, before we execute the plan, uh huh, because I don't want to throw away the plan. Right. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> the terrible, weird, red magic, silly messed up aura thing that was all around and encompassed us before we got teleported to hell. Is that still here? That's a good question. It is not. Cool. I okay. think that was getting Edwin here related, yep. probably. Yeah. Oh, was that getting him? Okay. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I just didn't want it to, like, roast our... Sorry. Roast our magical yeah. plans. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so... Okay. Elaine, let's boot it. What do you do? Uh, I I'm holding, or am You're I holding? Door- no, I'm dimension dooring me and Bisis, right? Uh, yeah. Bisis can fly. He can get there. Oh, Bisis. So I'm dimension dooring myself. I ooh. What? What? I mean, if you dimension door me, then I can put the wall. Um, like, oh god, yeah. what's the range on that? Ninety feet. I can like arc it. Kind of yeah, yeah. on, on the back side of the platform of the bosses and wall yeah. zombies out and us in. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was my goal too. Once we got over there, but yeah, uh, I will dimension door a rev since we're right next. We're right next to each other, so I will do dimension door. Getting into the layman. You come with me. Yeah. Your <laughs> uh, if you want to draw where you're going to put these things on the map when we do it, you can. Okay. So, um, yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so right, I'll, you're... I'll yeet the two of us over there with the dimension door. Perfect. Yeah. Move yourselves over there. Uh, are we going to go like to this little platform? Is anybody else looking at the map? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, where we're going. Yeah. Damascus is going like face to face with the big guy. This could be a crowded platform, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's not a problem. <laughs> Yeah, you got to hit us with like three AOEs and we're fucked. Yeah, I don't know. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's fine. Everything's fine. So, uh, Arev, move your move your token. Yes. I apologize. Uh, I was responding in chat. No, you're fine. Damascus. Uh, same deal. I'm going to run over, run over to Faza and just be like, uh, grab Gilly when you get a chance. Let's do this. And he and Faza are going to Dimension Door. He's getting right up face to face with the big guy. I'll drop Faza off like here. <laughs> here. Okay. Uh, um, next. Hang on. Yes. I have a bonus action. Okay. As a bonus action, I would like to um, Hexblade's Curse the big guy. Hexblade's Curse the Big Guy. Okay. What does that do again? Uh, it just means that I crit on him on a 19 or 20. And okay. whenever I uh, roll for damage against him, I get a plus four to each damage roll. And if it dies, I get seven hit points. Okay. It's mostly for the crit and the extra damage because I'm planning on just wailing away at him. Is that your turn? I, I use my movement because I haven't actually moved at all to flail my cape and give myself... Uh, an extra two armor. Extra two armor. Okay. Gilly. All right. Have I gotten pulled over yet? Not yet. Um, I told you the up you had. So I told you a Lewin, Damascus, Gilly, and a Rev went first. Went before everyone else. Okay. And is are any of the zombie people encroaching on us? Currently? Oh, they're everywhere. They they're... are everywhere. The, I didn't like put them everywhere because I wasn't going to do that because I'm yeah, lazy. But, they're... but okay. you get the idea with how many that are there. I'm going to go ahead and try and get just sort of between <laughs> uh, Callum and zombies, I suppose, and just kind of swing. I feel like the reach weapon situation is helpful for this situation. I'm stabbing and swinging, so let's see if we can hit anybody. We got, wait, first I'm going to rage. Okay. Please hold. That's important. Okay, four. What should be the teleporting one? I know, right? (laughs) Change of plans. It is. Oh, my weapons damage type changes to force. It gains the light and throne properties. Um, It already has that. That's fine. Oh, it does the Thor's hammer thing. If yeah. I throw it, it comes back to you me. You can throw Amazing. it. Yes. <laughs> throw it. No, you have to throw this it. This is now. so exciting. <laughs> throw it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna try and some bitches. I don't think I have to throw it, unfortunately, because they're fucking everywhere. Um That's fair. Does a, a 20 hit zombies, I assume? It does, yeah. Okay, cool. And I get the extra undead damage. That's good. Um, I'm gonna save my title surge actually, so I'm just gonna do Oh. I love the Gilly just wrecks house. <laughs> Always. <laughs> she doesn't do a lot of damage, but she's very enthusiastic about it. Uh, oh. We got 8 plus 1 plus 7. 9 plus 15. 7 is 15. 16. 9 plus 7 is 16. Oh, thank you. 16 At least damage. One of us can math. On that one, and then... Okay, and then another hit for... It's force, yes? Se- uh, yes. And then that's 17 damage on the second one. Awesome. Okay. Gilly, you unleash your tritons and begin just stabbing zombies left and right, uh, kicking them kicking them off the end of it, of your triton, off the edge as they get lost in the horde once more, uh, thinning the herd just a little bit. What a little bit. Badass image. Like, literally, Gilly's like, like, 
You like basically like left forward and just like it's oh, yeah. It's fucking Helm's like a Deep. Kebab. Just like knocking orcs yeah. into the uh, ground. It is it's exactly that. It's Helm's uh-huh. Deep. Yeah. You are you're just yeah. going nuts. I, I, I don't know why, but the thought of you and the trident right now is just like so baller. <laughs> um love it. A rev. That's uh, me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so as I get uh, through the portal and I kind of quickly check over my shoulder and like I gl- take three quick glances and as I'm staring at the large pink tiefling knowing exactly who he is my entire form shifts into that radiant form of the dragon. Might I my... add, holding your boyfriend holding right by now. the neck. I... I, I know. <laughs> and so that's why he's staring direct eye contact across the platform, knowing who this asshole is, and only briefly turns to cast Wall of Fire, transmuted into a Wall of Radiance to deal radiant damage, uh, which I will draw on the map. Uh, I just want to figure out exactly how long it is. Because... Give me one moment while I read these to see reactions here. Um... Oh my god, may... I just figured out how to hide the chat part of Roll20. That's helpful. <laughs> wow. Es- <laughs> Esme was a caster, right? She can do both now. She can fight and cast, so hang on. Oh good. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yes, she does have it. Uh, she's gonna counterspell. Counter what spells. level? Hmm. Fits of counterspells are counterspell. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> this is right next to her. Fits of counterspells are counterspell. Perfect. She didn't even upcast it this time, so. Yep. Bam. No. And so no. fuck you. You go to put up this wall of radiance. She laughs and snaps her fingers, and Kaz- Ed Faza goes, <laughs> and then. <laughs> And it's done. Your wall is up. Like as, you as a I, stupid bird. Like <laughs> you and your stupid bird. And as I feel the the wall of radiance almost beginning to fizzle, like Arev, like almost like angrily pulls his hands together. And then when Faza snaps her ma- magic shut, he just looks over and he smiles at her with like a giant grin. <laughs> and he toothy, just toothy. <laughs> and he like rips open his hands as this radiant ball of energy bursts forward from his hands and you see um a line go like this because it's uh up to 60 feet long or a ringed wall up to 20 feet um so five uh five ten fifty twenty I, I'm basically doing this and ringing the platform right I, here. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Nice. And then if anyone right. does it on the other side, they're like slowed or whatever to get into it, and then they go directly. How high is it? Uh, it is 20 feet tall. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. That might give you that might give you a turn. A turn or t- turn like a where they can't get to you, but there, there's so many they will climb on them themselves. Okay, that's not uh, bad. It, it, it's not like a physical structure. It's it's just like a. Oh, wall it's just of a radiance. wall of radiance. Oh, okay, yes. cool, cool, cool. So they like, can go through it. Got it. But they get damaged as they uh, yes. yes move yes, yes. towards it, which is uh, um, yeah. They, so they have to make a saving throw. They have to make a dexterity nineteen saving throw. And uh, if they fail, they take 5d8 radiant damage. And if they succeed, they take half. Okay. Okay, cool, Something cool, cool. tells me zombies are not very dexterous. <laughs> Would you be surprised to find out? Oh, weird. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Um, yes, because I have bonus action uh, form of the dragon. I cast my transmuted spell of wall of fire into wall of radiance. And then... Uh, I will, uh, as a free action, if I may, I will turn to the uh, large pink tiefling across the platform who is holding my boyfriend by the neck, and I will simply 
raise my casting hand, open palm with a finger out across the platform, and I'll shout, and you're next. <laughs> he laughs. You hear this ominous, ha, ha, ha. Like, that was the most funny thing he has ever heard. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay. How does that work? So next up is Inspiria, who, let's see, um, is, I believe someone is just across from her. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Right next to you, Damascus. You're right. She is. She uh -huh. turns to you and unleashes a flurry of blows. I knew for um, a reason. <laughs> Does a 25 hit? Uh, it would if I didn't cast shield. <laughs> Just watching Pies freak out. Uh, well, the and other then... one was 25 too. I'm like, my wizard yeah. is going to die here. These are, right. high, these are high level. Um, Stay behind me. My AC right now is 28 with shield up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, Inspiria moves towards you and... Uh, takes a swipe at you, misses, and then goes to sink her teeth in. But you cast this shield up and she bulks her head off of it in, and growls. In my head, the shield is like these little butterflies flying around me that just get in the way of all of her attacks. I'm just like, bomb, she might be down, but we're going to save her ass. Just fucking help me out here. In your head, you hear, I got you. That boy. And you still have all of your warlock spells and powers as Bomb is going to fill that role. Uh, up next, Winter. Fuck, there's a lot of zombies. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck this shit. He takes to... <laughs> He takes to the sky. You wanted him to fly, didn't you? I These do. ethereal wings with with a what used to be a very golden shimmer to them now let off frost as he spreads them and takes to the sky. Where are you Posting putting on his own power? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh that is like is it weird to say I got literal chills? <laughs> <laughs> Like that just that that hits. Um the, the god inside is coming out, folks. Um so with winter's fly speed, would he be able to safely be like above the heads of the, the zombies? Because I don't think Yeah, he can fly he could fly like a diagonal 30 feet up. Cause yeah, he'd you can definitely like dash. I, I think for winter, it's a dash up and a dash down to try and reach the platform. Because the plan was to get over the zombies, so he definitely wants to. Um, so from it's sixty feet to reach, just where, like basically just at a rev. So if he if that's possible if he can safely dash up and down and sort of land right beside a rev and a lewin he will he can't 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 he can yes he can make it to you yeah perfect so then he'll use his action to dash dust off those frosty new uh wings of his and leave trails of frost in the air as he just dashes across um dropping some snow on these zombies faces i imagine seeing it hiss and simmer off their skin for some reason i feel like they're burning <laughs> that feels correct Radiant the vibes snow. are right uh next is that all he's doing this turn is that all he's doing this turn uh his Bonus actions as a paladin are like not a thing. Cool. <laughs> so, okay. so next up is Esme. Let's see what she does. Ooh, okay. 
He's like, oh. do uh... ha ha ha! You would, you fucking would. <laughs> um, everyone, give me a dexterity saving throw. Mm. Not everyone. Not uh, not you. You're not there. Not me. Ha -ha. Yeah, not you. <laughs> <laughs> the 37 throw it pays to be it's stuck up across the board yeah right it doesn't have a reaction. uh 21 uh alay when you have to Ooh. add um winter's paladin yeah. aura to that as well so you actually 26. get a 26 <laughs> okay you pass you pass good um dexterity yep yeah okay so uh a rev gets a 20 um uh, Sorry, Dexter. Uh, yeah, plus three. Okay, that's what I thought. So, uh, Arev gets a 26 as well. Eight. And then Winter gets a 22. 22. Okay. Uh, Damascus? 23 for Damascus, 21 for Faza. Okay. Thank you, Winter. Everyone that got a 23 and above passes. Everyone below that fails. Um, You watch as Esme looks at you, laughs, and then casts a fireball on all of us ah oh no <laughs> including including Rananel, including edwin oh she roasting the whole platform demon. she roasts the whole platform unafraid oh. of the fire again back in hell amazing we uh anyone who failed takes 32 damage Anyone who passed takes uh, half of that. Uh, which wait, is, wait, yes, wait. Yes. Arev hasn't used his reaction, right? Okay. Um, I want to double check if I still have it. I swear I do. You have an earring of counterspell or something. I have, I have an earring of counterspell. <laughs> I I swear I do. Okay, it's, I because I've used it once. It had three charges. I've literally only ever used it once. Um, I I don't see it in the inventory on D and D Beyond. Maybe it's in Varian's sheet. Actually, like I would swear, my earring of counterspell I've only used once. Ocean heroes and crossbow. Oh my god, it's not in my inventory. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Yes, it is. I literally just checked here. Just it's called counterspell earring. It absolutely is there. It's underneath Callum's wooden coin. It's it's literally right there. No, it's okay. Thank you. I just I, I didn't spot it. I was and looking it says for like one used. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So you're gonna you're gonna counterspell. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, so then you need to roll, I believe, right? Five, no, it's third level. Yeah, you're done. You're good. Huh. Yeah. So this, she unleashes this uh, ball of flame on you guys, but you, no. I, if I may. Yeah. I, I think it, it, Arev, because he literally just turned to um, Edwin and said, like, you're next, right? Yeah. And then he sees her, like, cackling and starting to, like, rain this throat. I actually think she, like, starts to, like, bring the beam of energy up to uh, to, like, bring this fireball out. And I think Arev literally just turns, pulls on the earring, and he says, no, shut up. <laughs> no, you shut up. <laughs> you shut your face. <laughs> I love that. She looks offended. Like, how dare you talk to her? Do you even know who she is? Um, <laughs> but she still gets two attacks. And uh, uh, bosses let's... be bossing. Bosses be bo I I built you a fucking boss battle, guys. Uh, um. So where is she here? She is over here. She runs up to Faza, and she's Ooh. gonna make a couple of attacks here. Um, with her uh one with her um what is that thing called? That tentacle on her back, mm -hmm. and one with the the those uh my words are just not working today uh the clear tentacle on her arm i can't remember what i fucking used to describe that shit uh whatever like pronged ones 
Yeah, the prom had, like, Does multiple... a 26 hit? Yeah, that hits Faisa. Perfect. Um, so that is going to do... Oh, she didn't even have to get that close. It's only going to do 13 piercing damage. Okay. Um, but I need a con save. Uh, oh. That's a 26. 26. All right. The bad thing does not happen. It's fine. So, uh, and so. then following it up, she swipes with her pronged uh, tentacles on her arm. Ew, For a 14. Gross. Stop. Missing. 14. Misses. That is Esme's turn. Next up, we have Edouin holding Rananel by the neck. Ah, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Whatever it is, I'm sure I'm going to hate it. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Oh my God. The the stress leaving your body by. (laughs) No, it's still entering. (laughs) Okay, so he's a, he's, he's, He's full evil. He's a, he's like, okay, so, um, he looks at you, Arev, laughs, walks to the edge of the platform, and tosses Renanel over. And you hear, "Ah!" as he uh, falls. Hold on, I got a thing. I don't have a reaction. Anybody have anything? I I don't don't have a reaction. And Winter is... And he looks at you and he goes, I hope you weren't attached to that. (laughs) Wait. Wait. I can... Shut... Oh, no, he'll show up in the same spot. Um, Chronal shift. Chronal shift. Chronal shift. What are we doing with that? What does that do? He's within thirty feet of me. Um, uh, well, he didn't roll to make the decision, did he? No, he was a free. Is the free action? He's yeah. just letting him go. So that's why I was just like, uh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Do He's anything. just dropping him. Would, um, would, Renna wouldn't have like fought to cling on. Alter. Renanel is. I want you to understand where Renanel is right now. He's, yeah. This is the lord that rules over him. Uh, He's horrified and terrified, but I will give you I will give you I could a roll. I will give him a roll right now to hold on. I could bubble him. Do you want to bubble him? Ah, it's an action though. It's not a reaction. I I I have Oh no. Yeah. I, I gave could... you a whole bunch of bonus action. No, that's bonus action. One of them's a reaction. Uh-huh. No, one of them is a reaction. They're all, they're all bonus actions. Shit. I, yeah. Okay. Winter has a reaction. But I want mean, reaction. I could, I could temporal shunt Renanel, but he would end up in the same spot again. But would that prevent him from being yeeted? Could potentially give time. It would let me. It would let one of us save. Like I have a feather fall token. Okay. Um. Uh, this only affects me. Nope. Uh, and man, do, do you have feather fall, Faza? Nope. But she could potentially vortex warp him out of there instead of uh, hitting. But that's, it's still Dallin. an action. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. Because <laughs> I thought the I'm same so... thing. Because I have vortex warp too. I was like, I could just pull him over. No. If you if you temporal, temporal shunt, shunt him, last? you can uh, then on your next turn because it lasts until that's what I was his thinking, next turn, yeah. right? Correct. So you could save you could hold your reaction to vortex warp him the second he pops back up. Yes. So if I, that's that's what it would do is it it just it eats him. So not uh, a bad idea. It, he's making Please eat our boy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's <laughs> been let go. You shunt him. Yeah. What happens? What do we see? Um, so basically as uh Edwan goes to like yeet Renanel, uh, uh you're gonna see a Lewin go, no, 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 and a blast of like glowing, glittery energy is going to just like shoot directly at Renanel and he's gonna disappear into a little puff of glitter. You you just hear a rev call across. 
What did you do? Je- <laughs> I'm saving him. Do you really that... think I'm going to put him in danger? I don't know, but that doesn't look like saving. Well, get your eyes checked. <laughs> it's pretty and sparkly. It's fine. One thing I at a time. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, I used my reaction this round. <laughs> look at okay. So what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He makes okay. He makes four attacks. Ooh, that with his giant safety? sword. Um. Right ooh, with with more or less everything. Let's be honest. Uh, he is gonna run up to you, Damascus. Bring it out and. <laughs> And he's going to unleash his four attacks. And you notice as he is making these attacks, he fights with every part of his body. Um, It is wild and horrifying. He runs in and goes to headbutt and bite you uh, for a 28. That is exactly my HP right, my AC right now. Uh, You take 15 piercing damage and I need a constitution saving throw. Yes. Yes, James. Peter. <laughs> yes, James. I I have a terrible question that I don't mm-hmm. want to ask. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know how you stabbed our patron god Beloff there through the chest yes. with a unnamed magical sword? Mm-hmm. Um, A, is that the sword in Edwin's hand? Yes, it is, yeah. And uh uh god awful I want to throw up, but B, um considering her magic seems to be kind of missing and the rest of our magic and the gods inside of our, you know, beings are catching up the slack. Um, our weapons were all blessed by Beloff and that's yeah. why they were doing the extra damage to the they undead. They don't do that anymore. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> plus four is 18. Plus, am I within Winter's Wi-Fi range? Sorry for nerfing us. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I had completely forgotten, so thank you. I forgot that was why, yeah. Yeah, it's Beloth's uh, light that was allowing yep. us to be extra heavy hitty versus yes, undead and fiends. My little reference sheet. Yeah. Um what's Winter's Wi-Fi range right now? Ten feet. It becomes thirty feet you're, at like level seventeen you're out, you're or something. Out. Okay. I'm gonna use Lucky. Okay. Try again. For what? What? Oh, for the con save, right? Con save. Okay, that's much better because I, I rolled a fourteen for an eighteen total that time, and I didn't trust it. Uh, but I got an eighteen on the dice this time for a twenty-two total. You pass. Yes. Fight me. Don't then, fight me. Leave me alone. Then he swipes at you with one of those massive black claws of his for oh, a thirty-three to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Yeah, 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 yeah. That does hit. Oh, motherfucker, did you get a nat 20? Shit. Yeah, boy. Okie dokie. I don't have a reaction to do anything about it. No. Oh. Um, uh, wait. Yes, I do. I'm lucky. Go- okay. I will have him hit again. 24. Does not hit. So he reaches out, slashes you with this claw, but misses. But that doesn't deter him as he winds around this giant sword and goes to slash around basically try and take your head off um for a 20 that doesn't hit That's you duck hit. get out of the way and, and then no. finally bad enough you tried to bite me fuck is wrong with you he very petulantly stomps the ground for a 21 and just as you kind of feel your the platform shake Almost like you might have fallen over. You're fine. You stand there. Um. Yeah, that's his turn. But me, bitch. I think he is actually. No, I don't like it. Go away. <laughs> <It's in> my <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up is Faza. Uh, Faza will be very happy that she gets a reaction back, uh, but she is going to teleport our last two people over, I guess. Yeah, that is plan. Uh, so she will, let's just make sure I got range on this. 
if she has to move. <laughs> I want to stay so far away from this dude. <laughs> Jason's like, come on, yeah. let's go. <laughs> yeah. Excellent timing. <laughs> Thank you, Fela. Uh, she'll like teleport you, I guess, next to her, and Callum can be on the other side, like behind her. Okay. So here and there. All right. Uh, Talon. Yeah, cozy. So now we have the NPCs that are helping you. Uh, can, I, can I do one more thing? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, my bad. She's got a bonus action. Uh, she is going to try and telekinetically shove this bitch away from her. Hell yeah. It's only okay. five feet, yeah. but she does not want to it'll it'll be right there. Shove yeah, okay, her cool, 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 cool. Uh, the pink... No, I can't. It's either directly away or directly towards her. So is yeah. it? it's it's in Spiria that you're trying to get rid of, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a strength saving throw? Uh, it is... Shove, yeah, DC 17 strength. Bitch! You have a plus, like, that one. <laughs> yes! It's only you, five feet, she fell but... off the platform because she rolled in that one? <laughs> no, oh, yeah. she just goes back by feet. It's the element of surprise. Uh, and so, then she trips. Oh, it's not in prone, right? You're throwing, uh, you're, uh, you're doing Esme. Esme's Esme, a blue yeah. one. Yes. Hang on, I got to do another roll for her. Oh, like yeah. her stats. You should, Ooh. You should honor the nat one and just add her stats. Just right? Saying. It's fine, whatever. It's just the 13, show. it's fine. She sho she gets shoved back five feet. All right? And stumbles. Um, 25 feet? 25! Five! five. <laughs> you got it. Hopefully... I mean, come on. <laughs> Which hopefully means that she's not within punching range of Faza anymore. So Faza is going to go and hide behind Gilly. <laughs> Good God. Okay. Holy um, shit, she hits really hard. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, baby. How can you now, do a piggy bet? Don't worry our, about it. Our NPCs are up. And we start with Talon. You watch as he flies up into the air. Um, and unleashes this almost ball of radiant energy into the the uh, crowd of zombies, uh, instantly killing a whole bunch of them. Does it smell like Earl Grey or chai? <laughs> it smells. <laughs> it smells like um, smells like neither. It smells a little pepperminty, like he's trying to cover up the scent. Of Wait, just burning he, flesh. Dead body. <laughs> burning tea. Uh, it's the he's the archfey of like tea. tea <laughs> for ceremony. those for those who are are present. Uh, so, he's very fancy. He's very fancy. He's very handsome. It's a normally uh, fairy dragon. Bysis takes to the sky and flies and makes it right about here, halfway between you and everybody. But he's up in the air so that he can't get hit. Um, you watch Alewin as Callum turns around, books it to this tree branch over here, just outside of the wall of protection that you put put there, loads up about four four of his arrows and just into the into the horde. And you notice that they all kind of explode just a little bit, scattering zombies for a second before they close back in because he is Ooh. a horde breaker um yes. and then he and then he gets back behind the wall hoping that it'll give him some cover not cover but like do some damage if he's gonna get hit <laughs> uh and then we cycle back to the top of the round where our zombie horde is going to go let's see uh they would definitely go through the wall all right hang on hang on hang on hang on I'm grabbing okay. my D8s because I need to figure out how much damage my wall is going to do to them. Oh, mm. holy shit. Okay. Um, 8, 15, 23, uh, 27 plus. Uh, that, that's It's 30 points of radiant damage to anybody that uh, fails Ooh. their saves trying to go through the wall or 15 if it's halved. Okay. Okay. So I... Uh, I'm pissed. <laughs> you watch as Good they wall. dive through this wall and begin their skin begins to sizzle. A couple of them falling 
but being walked over as they take 15 damage. Uh, I know, right? It's almost like I created special things for this fight. The horde passed the save? <laughs> they are no. actually resistant to Radiant. Ah. Oh, no. That's <laughs> bullshit. Uh, and all the, uh, yeah, so they pass through and they're going to make their attacks at Faza as she gets grabbed around the ankle and ripped towards them. Um, oh, but I'm right there. Uh huh, but she's behind you. Son of a bitch. Right at the edge. Uh, 22. Daniel, you're muted. Shield. Shield, okay. Uh, and then a 29. Uh, yeah, Fuck, that, that was a nat 20. Shit! Okay, uh, cool. Um, so, she gets <laughs> she gets pulled towards the uh, towards them. One of them tries to bite her, and she kicks it in the face a couple times, and then another one grabs her and rakes its claws down her side, and she takes... Oh, fuck. Are um, ranged attacks, are they? Oh, fuck. No. This is really bad. Um, Can I give her my last lucky on that nat 20? Yeah, because it would be 116 damage. Doubled. What the actual fuck? Yeah. I have okay. she I got, do, she, she, she got pulled into them. Okay. Uh yeah, I'll I'll use my last lucky on that. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is my fault and I hate it so much. One of their one of their things that I'm going to tell you this now, they will rip you apart. Cool. Cool. So Really wishing I'd made that wall of fire right now. Mm -hmm. They miss. Okay. I'm out Uh, of luckies. Damascus, you see phases start getting pulled into this uh, horde of zombies through, starting to get pulled through the the wall. And you feel bomb. You feel bomb inside you. And he goes, he goes, Merge with me. Oh, I, shit. I can help you merge with me. That's what it takes. Do it. Just fucking do it. We don't got time for this. Damascus, you and Bomb, your souls begin to intertwine. This burning floods through your veins. Uh, your eyes flare green and change from your dark green to a very vibrant lime green and you have three more luckies after this just fyi i will take it we're gonna need he it. undoes that roll and phases scurries back away from the edge but bomb is no more you are Damascus. now Bomb reconstructed. Damascus, the god of spring. And then there was one. (laughs) Alewin. I was just like, shit! I'm sorry, did you say Alewin while I was yelling? (laughs) Yeah, it's so funny. Second round of combat? (laughs) Yeah, I'm really stressed out right now. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> this is fine everybody this will be perfectly fine there's going to be no consequences to this deal that was just made we love to see it um okay cool so uh a laywin is going to uh fifth level give me just a second uh i can make it uh 60 feet long 20 foot high and one foot thick I'm just checking my dimensions before I do it. Uh, yeah. So, can you see the map where I'm drawing that pink kind of yes line here? Uh, I know it's going to be so it'll be like 25, and then like 20. So like 45 feet in this, and I'll draw it in just a in just a second. Um, aha! There we go. We are gonna wall of time that sucker right there. And uh, I did put that description in the chat. Would you like me to read it out loud as well? 
sure. Okay. So um, a light wind is going to cast fifth level wall of time. And uh, you're going to see like this, that same coppery glittery magic. And um, she's like, cranking it in her hand, almost like a clock itself, like winding a clock. And um, as she's like cranking it, it's going to like create this. It's about 45. We'll, we'll, we'll go to 50. So just smidgen, smidgen longer than the, the sphere I drew. Um, and it's uh, you create a wall of shimmering, transparent blocks on a solid surface within range. You can make a straight wall up to 60 feet long, 20 foot high, one foot thick, or a cylinder wall up to 20 feet high. So I made a, a rounded it, um, one foot thick and 20 feet in diameter. Non-magical ranged attacks that cross the wall vanish into the time stream with no other effect. Ranged spell attacks and ranged weapon attacks made, uh, made with magic weapons that pass through the wall will be made at disadvantage. A creature that is uh, that initially uh, enters or passes through the wall is affected as if it has just failed its initial saving throw against a slow spell. So if they try and pass through to get us, they will fail a slow spell. Okay, okay. You're gonna need to remind me on this. Okay. Uh, but that's fucking baller. I know, right? Yeah, um, that's baller. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... um. That's a wombo combo because uh -huh, I mean they may uh -huh, be resistant uh -huh. to it. Yeah, it's good, failed, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, they, it's they just, get through through your yeah. wall and mm -hmm. then are assaulted by the radiance. Yes, 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 yes. Combo yes, move. Yes. Um, and then uh, I cast a spell, so I can't do anything else. That'll that'll do. That'll do. That'll um, do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> yeah i'm sorry every time you think no, 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 like i was just i was just double checking to see if like the ring would help me in this moment but there's nothing really um um she's a half elf not a pig <laughs> she's a full <laughs> elf thank you that's true sorry <laughs> uh no you're totally fine um yeah that'll, that'll be my turn so she cast that uh no okay baller um damascus just as an aside, because you have taken this bond with, uh, with bomb, you now have access to the bomb blossom. So you create a small lilac colored flower in your hand that you can throw in an area within 50 feet. Uh, when in position, the bomb blossom erupts with a low roar into a pulse wave. Uh, each creature in a 20 foot radius sphere centered on the point on that point must make dexterity saving throw. A target takes 86 force damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful save. Any objects not bolted down will get thrown away uh, 10 feet. Um, from that explosion you can use that ability half your proficiency modifier rounded down per long rest okay. and i have put it in the uh in your equipment section nice yeah i just saw it amazing all right that's sick the best so, is just i'm gonna give you your time do you want to try planning again oh uh, yeah a lay one just went, but she, you can still plan for your next, you're, you're, oh, you're not holding a turn oh, to shit. vortex warp. Shit. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, I got a reaction when he, once he blips back, I'll just blip him again. You blip him just mm -hmm. <laughs> immediately. This poor, this poor thing. Okay. So wait a second. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> wah, wah. Damascus, uh, really yeah. a rev. You're up next before the next bad guy goes. Do you want to plan or do you want to just do your thing? I have a thing that I want to do. Then do your thing. Um, yeah. Oh, Rev still has my bubble. Rev has your bubble? Yeah, the um the little the little I don't oh, think really he ever the used bead, it, the bead. Right? The you bead. never used the bead. Yeah. Oh my god, you did you didn't. And no. it goes away in like an hour. So, and I can't remember. Give me just a second to see uh, if that's an action or if he could just like yeet it as a bonus action. Because I know it's an action for me to like do the thing. Sorry, what's... Dan, go ahead. Sorry, I'll figure okay. that out. And... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, so Damascus is basically dueling with Edwin right now. He has okay. been 
wailing away at him and these little butterflies are blocking some of his attacks. His sword is blocking some. Phaser just almost got eaten. He has bonded with Baum. His eyes have grown bright green and he's the little butterflies that float up, that were floating around him as his shield just starts to glow and get stronger. And he looks directly at Edwin and goes, your minions just tried to eat my girlfriend. You stabbed your sword through the heart of my goddess. And sure, you you might be a big, bad, scary demon lord. No question. You're bigger and tougher than I am. But size and toughness don't win fights, Edwin. You know what does? Conviction. And I got more conviction than you can imagine. Now, drop your sword. And I would like to cast <laughs> Heat Metal on his sword at You cast level. Heat Metal at 5th level and then realize that nothing happened. Motherfuckers need to guard the- Nope. The, the sword is fucking metal. obsidian. It's made oh, of a gem. For is the handle? Sakes. As Gilly has remembered. Is the handle? The whole thing? The, the whole, whole thing. thing. Well, fucking that's a waste of my bonus action. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was so epic. And he fucking <sighs>, laughs in your face. <sighs> and Wait, wait. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I have the Sasha Sorceress synergy. Okay. Can I transmute the heat metal? Twin spell it. You can't transmute it because it's not because it's it's not affecting it because it's metal. But if you twin spell it, I can affect like if he's wearing armor or something. I can point it, it at his armor. Spell, it has to hit two different people. Yes, yeah, two different yeah, people. Yeah. Fuck you, man. You know that. You bitch at me constantly in our <laughs> other game. <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. I was really hoping that I could like somehow transmute it to like heat crystal <laughs> or something you know like <laughs> what what i need is a ring of the grammarian mm -hmm. let, let me maybe, change things around maybe at at the end of uh closer to the end of the game i will give you something that just causes chaos <laughs> good I, okay let me be chaotic that's, that's fun <laughs> yeah that's fine i just go you know what then fine Fuck you. And uh, I pull out my um, wand. Heat metal is um, not a bonus action to cast. It's a full action, and then you do it on a bonus it? action. Oh, fuck. You're absolutely right. That is your action this turn. God damn it. That was a disappointing turn. I'm being evil. I This is the first time that I've actually been like, I'm going to fuck some shit up as a DM. Jess is following the rules. That's okay. It's You're making us actually play the game, which is totally <laughs> fine. This is an important um, moment. Just a second. That's disappointing. Um, that's not much. You know what? <laughs> Here's what I do instead. I look at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I go, all right, fair enough, it didn't work. But you got to admit, it was a pretty good speech. And I use pretty pollen puff. Hey! Uh, he has to give me a wisdom saving throw or he is... He takes a d6 of psychic damage and is charmed by me. Hey! A wisdom saving throw! Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna let you know right now, he's real good at wisdom. It's the only bonus action Maybe I Maybe the dice will be on our side. But, doesn't help you much if he rolls an 8. So, 17? 17? Uh, hang on. My spell save is 18. Fight me. <laughs> However, Mm-hmm. He's going to burn legendary through a legendary act of resistance. That, listen, if he's burning through a legendary resistance to stop that, go for it. Epic. Epic. There goes one legendary resistance. As you blow this powder into his face and he goes, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is that your turn? Yes. Um, no, I use my movement to flail my cape again. You fuzzy, so you dance. I just uh, cool. throw my cape in his face. Fuck. So not only did you try and heat metal a crystal sword, um, <laughs> blow some like flower into his face, but then you toro around so that you have that extra. Oh, that that was the best turn I've ever seen. Um, at the end of yep. your turn, however, he is going to uh, make a. He's going to make an attack. 
okay. with a legendary action. Um, but he's going to fail because he gets a 15 on that. Uh, so he swipes at you, but you are dancing like you do with your coat. Toro, Toro, Toro. And he misses as he hits just <sighs> cape. Um, Gilly. Okay. First off, I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to turn around to Faza, kind of grab both of her shoulders and cast protection from evil and good, or from evil oh. and good on her, because I didn't like that. <laughs> and I'm so going to tell her, okay, you find, find a better place to hide, because I'm not going to be here starting now. Okay. Just go okay, over. Okay, protection from evil and good. Somewhere. What does that do? Um, okay, so, uh, uh, Fiends and Undead, which I assume is the only one that would be applicable here, uh, have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Uh, she also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. So, disadvantage on her. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so and cute. then... What? Is like, Gilly so cute? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta! <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to summon Otto because I remembered that I had not summoned Otto yet. So Otto's here. Hey. You summon Otto, Otto and then just out of nowhere you hear a pop and this orange ethereal uh, octopus pops in front of your face and then his arms all Yay. wrap around you as he squeezes you just a little bit choking you but he he's very me. excited to see you and there's all these suckers only been going, a second. <laughs> Oh, second guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Otto's gonna go... Who's Otto gonna attack? I'm just gonna attack this little pink person up here. What's okay, her face? Okay, you go after Gilles his mom. Syria. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just just Otto is, though. Yeah, yeah, go. Cool. I'm just gonna, like, kind of, like, pitch him over, like... You just grab him and throw you know. him at her face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... Eight, nine, ten, one. Uh, it's a 13 hit. A thirteen does where are you does not hit. Uh, okay, Ella, you flavor. have um you have guidance from the chat. Just FYI. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> um. Okay, and then trying to what bonus actions that I'm going to use and what. Just, just FYI. This is what this looks like. You grab your octopus get rip him off you throw him at her and she just kind of steps to the side and you and you see him flail into no. the <laughs> no Anna. it's okay he's ethereal it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> um okay and then my uh i forget what it's called i've labeled them my grapple tentacles and my damage tentacles my damage tentacles are, tentacles are a bonus action to cast so i'm going to cast my damage tentacle um it's going to show up over by Esme, I think. Okay. Or maybe just in the middle of the platform, because I think it can reach everybody from there. It's going to just kind of come up in the middle of the platform, and then it's going to go and kind of slap down on Esme, because she's got tentacles, and so I'm going to fight some tentacles with tentacles. <laughs> tentacles with tentacles. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's going to be a 17 to hit. Esme, Esme, Esme. That does not hit. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, you know what? The the Her tentacle people whips are doing your tentacle favor. out of the way. <laughs> They're fighting. <laughs> tentacle fight. Yeah, they are. Um, uh. Okay, and then I, for my actual action, am going to run up on what's his bitch, Edmond, and just stab him in the fucking face with my trident. <laughs> As I do. Okay, that's a 14 plus. Let me see what to do. Wait, I wrote this down somewhere so it would be easier. 14 plus 11 to hit. 25 to hit. Yeah, you hit. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to do the title surge on this one. Oh, and I don't get the extra 1d6 anymore, but that's okay. No, no, you don't. Okay, you do extra 2d6. Uh, oh, hmm. hang on. You're not blessed by Veloth. You're blessed oh, really? by a different god. <sighs> okay, cool. Extra 1d6. Still a thing. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. So that's going to be... Three, four, five, six, seven. Didn't roll great, but hey. Seven plus five. 
12 plus 10, 22 damage. Okay, so 22 damage to him. Does he have any resistances where you need to know the type? Uh, yes, tell me what they are. Um, that would be, let's see. Piercing and bludgeoning. Piercing from a magical weapon is fine. Bludgeoning from a magical weapon is fine. Okay, cool. And then he needs to make me a strength saving throw with a DC of 15, or I just push him back with my ethereal water, and he might fall off that shit. Nice. 28. Hey. Fine. <laughs> you, he doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> it was a good effort. Uh, so 22 damage? Uh, yes. And that's better. Okay. You've done your first bit of damage on him. At In the end of your turn, turn, though, now that you're next to him, mm -hmm. he gonna slash you. There. So uh, let's see what you can do. Oh, I'm do like right here. on top of it. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, yeah, top yeah. Of it. I'm like, where did the mask go? go? <laughs> does, does a 20 hit? Uh, yeah. 20 hits. Okay. <laughs> You take oh shit um you take twenty one piercing damage okay and I need a DC that is... eighteen Constitution saving throw mm. half to ten because you're raging because you're raging yes half that mm -hmm. um ten plus uh sixteen saving throw so you fail okay. you are good you're poisoned ah uh, while poisoned in this way. The target can't regain hit points and takes 14 damage or 4d6 poison damage at the start of each of its turn. A poison target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turn, ending the effect on a successful save. Okay. Okay. So let me and... write up here poisoned. All right. Cool. All right. Um. A rev. That's me. That is you. Um, so now that I've seen Alewin uh bring up this bubble of uh sort of time magic wall behind us, uh m the starry form of the dragon, which has taken the dragon tattoos from my back and literally projected them like astral wings out my back as my entire skin has become glittery and my eyes are luminescent white. Um, as it becomes my turn, the wings sort of fold in and dissipate as a different tattoo, the that of the arrow that's pointed below my brow with the um, point on my cheekbone begins to illuminate uh, as I enter my starry form of the archer. And when I see Edouin swinging across the arena at Gilly and the blade connect, leaving Gilly sort of looking ill and not in a good way. I yell across the arena, Hey! I said you're next. <laughs> and then I reach my hand back and grab Amelia's longbow. Ooh. And okay. as I pu as I pull it forward, my hands start sort of pulling along the bow, almost like they're causing starlight to ripple around the haft of the bow itself. And it shape shifts into a bow of glimmering light in my hand. And I slap my palm down on the front of it and draw back an arrow, splitting it in two, accessing another sorcery point to twin a guiding bolt. And then I look up and I say, but you're not the only one, are you? And I launch both as one is twin spelled towards Edouin and the other is twin spelled right over his shoulder towards, uh, I believe it's Esme that's up there. What color? Uh, no, the pink is this. Uh, uh, is Inspiria, yeah. Inspiria. So the two arc off in the two different directions. And um, as the bolts go, uh, the one towards Edouin actually, if you see, almost has like a radiating secondary bolt, just like trailing in its wake, following almost like a mini comet. And that's my bonus action of my archer's bolt uh, following for 2d8 radiant damage if it hits as well. Um, so I'm what making... What did you roll? I haven't rolled yet. I'm just describing the attacks. Okay. Uh, but I will roll for the Guiding Bolt on Edwin. 
and its twin spelled counterpart on Inspiria. So that is a dirty 20 to hit Edwin mm -hmm. and a 26 to hit Inspiria. Both hit. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I have advantage on the uh, Comet Bolt that was trailing on Edwin because it's the next attack using up Guiding Bolt's ability. Um, I thank God for that. Oh, well, I rolled lower. I didn't believe I could roll lower than a five, and I did. So um, hang on. Five plus 11 is 16 to hit. 16 for, wait, sorry, for who? Edwin? So yeah, the, the my bonus action Starry Bolt is 16 uh -huh. for Edwin. It doesn't hit. Okay. You have Bardic That's... if you want to use it. <gasps> Remember? I, I gave do. you and Faze a Bardic the last time. Hey. Fuck yeah, I want to use it now. Let's go. go. Okay. Uh, it's... Mm. Okay, sorry, that just felt so good. Uh, hang on. Where is the D10? Where are you, D10? Why can't I find you? Probably because I'm a little bit stressed. Uh, there, <laughs> okay, that'll work. Fair enough. Uh, shoot, uh, that only added a three, so it's probably a 19. That's okay. So, can I? Yeah, as absolutely. the arrow's going a little bit wide, one of Bomb's butterflies just flies up just beside it and it pinks off, redirecting it just <laughs> enough to cling butterfly directly. Poofs. It's the, the butterfly, butterfly effect. Hey, <laughs> yep. uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, damage, I suppose. Um, so it was just a first level guiding bolt that I was casting. So I'm gonna roll, uh, forty six. You know, twice. So I'll do Inspiria first because she's only being hit once. So Inspiria is gonna take fourteen points of radiant damage. Fourteen points of radiant damage. Let me just check her. Cool, cool, cool. And then, um. Edwin is going to take 4, 8, 12, 19, 22. Edwin is going to take 22 plus 5, I believe, because my bonus action arrow is an additional plus 5. Right, right, right. Yes. So that's 27 points of radiant damage to Edwin. Just checking his thing. Yeah, okay, cool. 27. Perfect. Uh, did I put that at the wrong one? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. Perfect. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is Inspiria next. So where is she on this map here? Right, She's... <laughs> She's with you. Uh, green behind... Okay, that is Callum. Got it. All right. So she's going to wail on Damascus uh, because he's right there. Um... And she's going to make two attacks. A bite and a claw. Okay. Right and now. she's going to roll a nat one on the bite. So she chips one oh. of her teeth as she gets your armor. Because ah. she's not very smart. Uh, but then she follows it up with a large swipe across your chest. Does a 22 hit? Nope. My armor is 28 right now. I cast Perfect. You. That was a mistake on my part. Um... Giving you these abilities. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, that's her turn. Up next is Winter. Oh, yeah. Um, so Winter is still between um, Alewin and Arev. And so right in front of us, uh, basically like beside Alewin is Esme, right? Let me check. Got Blue. Back. Esme, yes. So Winter, um, with Alewin having turned and looking just beyond his shoulder and casting this wall, and Arev like shifting and launching off these blasting bolts of radiance, Winter simply like walks forward, placing a hand on either of their shoulders and sidles between them straight five feet forward and just with a solid crack. Veer's forge hammer hits the bark of the tree below him, creating a ripple effect of like a frost wave. It almost looks like a there's this impact of frost that crackles and hardens the earth below his feet. And then he places both hands on it and he looks at Esme and says, 
your time to die, I guess. And he swings <laughs> with the hammer, uh, making two attacks with attack and extra attack. I can't even move that. Damn it. I'm trying to make a, a thing for a spell, but I can't. I did it in the wrong place. Can I delete that? How do I delete that? Uh, just control Z will undo it, I oh, think. Oh, the circle? Oh, perfect. Okay. It's okay. I definitely don't hit her. Oh, um, no? I had really bad luck. With both of those attacks, I rolled A, a nat 1, and B, a nat 3. <laughs> oh, damn. That's, that's the worst way. Ah, that cackle is Esme right now, as he biffs it hard, man. It's the hardest Winter's ever missed. Mm-hmm. Like it's never been that low. Ah, oh, you fool! <clears throat> so he just kind of like swings wide of the hammer and he goes, "Almost time." <laughs> Almost time. <laughs> and uh, uh, did you move him? Yeah, he's right there. Cool. Yeah, just five feet forward. Yeah, and then that will be the end of his turn. That is the end of his turn. It is Esme's turn next. After that, um, and she, while fucking laughing her ass off. She then unleashes a shit ton of attacks on him, one right after the other, in a speed that this woman should not possess. Um, But he's not rolling as well as him, for a 13 does not hit as she swipes him with her pronged... uh, What are those things called? Yeah. Talent? Points? That's the one. Then she makes... She's going to swipe twice for 22. 22 hit 22 exactly hits yes cool so the first one goes over his head but that was just a feint as he moves just a little bit lines up perfectly for him to smack him across the face with the other one doing 17 piercing damage to him as they are a little sharp you notice uh and then finally that large um that large tentacle on her back reaches over her head to try and smash into him for an 18 missing. Um, that is at, that is Esme's turn. At that moment, Ra- uh, Rananel pops back into view over the ah. edge, falling to his doom again. <laughs> no, 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 I put it in the chat. It says on an unoccupied space. Unoccupied space, yeah. Uh-huh. Unoccupied says, was Renan over the. Will return at the start of its next turn, and the target reappears uh, where it was, or in the next closest unoccupied space. Yeah, it was. It was unoccupied over the edge of ah. the. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's where that's where that's we're shunting him again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you and as he begins to look confused and scream, your magic starts up and. Pops yep. him away again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this poor yep. boy. Because this <laughs> poor boy is going to Gone. fall to his death if we do not. <laughs> <laughs> and anything else I could do to like pull him is an action or a bonus action. So I have I'm nothing crying. Back in oh life. my god. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is it. This is this is the option. I, love it. It I is... don't. <laughs> <laughs> it Neither does he. Turn. Um, and in a 10 foot radius around himself, he casts anti magic field. Fight me. Um, the so, <laughs> so, uh, this an invisible sphere surrounds him where magic cannot be, magic does not work. Basically, does uh, that include magic. like magical weapons? Yeah. It, yep, everything. Everything. No magic works. Your ma- your weapons are normal weapons now when they hit him. Well. Is I mean, is this is this the moment? Is this the moment right now? Is this, this the is the moment, moment right? Yeah. I will try to use the last charge of my counter spell earring. Okay. Uh it, this is mm-hmm. a level eight spell, so you need to roll. So it's a uh, it I believe it is the you roll a D20 and then add your uh what is it? Charisma. Spell casting modifier. So, yeah, oh no, sorry, it'd be wisdom for you. Yeah. So the DC is what? 18. Okay. Um, 
I rolled a four plus five is nine. But Winter has this ability, and I don't know if it's going to be enough, but he has a reaction that he can take called Veter's Gift. It says, whenever another creature you can see within 60 feet of you makes an ability check, which is what this is, I think, an another attack roll creature. or a saving throw. Yes. But it's, oh, he, right. You're it's a red play both. It. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My B. Yes. Go. So, um, but uh, you can use your reaction to roll a d10 and apply the result as a bonus or penalty to the roll. Once you use this bonus, again, you can't use it till you finish a long rest. So, go for it. I'm going to use Vita's Gift. Hang on. You rolled a what? So, what do you have right now? I have a nine. Okay, go for it. <laughs> so I need, this is like a 20% you, chance. You need a nine or a 10. Or 10. Yeah. Uh, that's a D10, not a D20 that I need. Um, <sighs> that's rude. I, I, roll, I rolled a six. And I thought it was a nine at first because it oh, landed so upside sorry. down. <laughs> no. And I give him one of my luckies. Unless you... No, no, you can't. No, it has to affect me. I know. Uh... I tried. Uh, yeah. Uh, ten feet around him is an anti-magic sphere. Um... Good try. I feel so bad. Uh, it is it is Faze's turn. So 10 feet around Edwin is an end of magic sphere, 5, 10. So the walls are still active. But mm -hmm. technically speaking, within 10 feet of him would have been the temporal shunt, right? Does that seem No, he to moved happen? back to fight. Oh, no. Yeah, he did. No, he's... It's already happened, but... Uh, it will it go through on the, like, she won't be able to do it there in the next turn. Wait. Uh, except magic can't happen inside the sphere, right? So wouldn't it, wouldn't Renanel then appear in, like, an unoccupied space where magic can happen? Or would it just not happen because the magic can't reconstitute? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would end up maybe behind it. So... Yeah, he'll end up back here on the map in the in that open space there. Like uh, further off the tree? Yes, further off the tree. Fuck. Right here. Shit. Okay. Ah, uh, Faza. She's got. Um that changes things a little. We're all casters, so him having an anti-magic field sucks. I can stab him a lot. You can stab him so much. <laughs> uh, so okay. many times. That's... I have it at least. Okay, I do. Good. Does she? I don't know. She doesn't. Okay. Just get to my turn. Uh, cool. Phaza will not gonna affect him, but it'll hover around until the anti-magic field is gone. So Phaza is going to first face step the fuck away from the zombies <laughs> and get over Good call. here. So right across the to the other side. Over here. Are yep. there zombies on that side too? There are zombies everywhere. Assume there are zombies all over this place crawling up. I have said that multiple times. Okay, that's that's okay. She is going to... Okay. They have hit points, just FYI. There is a certain amount that you have to reach before they die. Yeah. Okay, that was her action. She is going to careful spell. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, she's going to careful spell uh, Radiant. <laughs> Watching fucking Carol. <laughs> I'm putting my gummy worms away. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> uh, Sorry, she's going to 
she's going to careful spell sickening radiance in a 30 Ooh. foot sphere that's basically like I can draw the circle if you want but it's basically like the whole thing more it goes beyond so anyone who gets within 30 feet of the center so basically it goes even past uh Alewin's wall thing it's nice. all the way out to here, if you can see. But uh, Atlanta would be fine, as well as Inspiria. Yeah. Okay. For now. Um, I'm gonna. You know what? You have the counter spell. Let's see if you can do it. I don't think Esme would let you do this. Okay. Um, what level is that? So that I know what I. She's gonna roll at level three, so she has to roll. It's fourth level. Fourth. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Let's roll the um, dice. Nah, Faze is like, fuck that shit. She'll counterspell her counterspell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. Perfect. Uh, yeah. You have a giant... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Then we go to the NPCs again. Uh, you see Talon unleash um, a bunch of like what looks like glitter... But it begins to, like, sort of eat away at zombies. Um, you also see him look at uh, Callum. And Callum looks a little bit more brave in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Callum, again, steps out from behind the all of these protection walls and spells that you've created. And unle unleashes another four of his of his uh, arrows and you see one of them split and become almost like a barrage of different arrows taking out tons of zombies. Um, Bysis is hacking away one by one and the horde is thinning. Thinning. But there are more, there are still more coming up. Um <laughs> Do you want to take a five minute break here before we continue through the next round? Or are you guys good? Um, I'm, I already went. You're like, I shut up. We're good. We're fine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Up to the rest uh, of y'all. Good. Good? Okay. Uh, Pi, you're fine? N yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've got momentum. Just nervous. Got it. Just nervous. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, oh, shit. Pi, you're near the edge of this tree branch. Um, they are going to do a slow spell. So how does that work? They fail a slow spell if they come at you. Yeah, they basically fail immediately if they. Cross so that they can do level. one thing, right? How does the how does it work? Amazing. Um, it, you I'll do, read it. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. uh, its speed is halved, and it takes a negative two to the AC and Dex saving throws, and you can't use reactions on its turn. Um, it can use it, that's the actual slow spell um, on its turn it can use either an action or a bonus action not both regardless of the creature's um, ability or magic items uh, it can't make more than one melee or ranged attack during okay turn. okay cool i also need it to make a con save as it walks into phases sickening radiance what damage Remember does that do again radiant which radiant. i know is okay. the resistance okay. too but con save uh 12 Okay, that fails. That's 4d10. Oh, oh do the damage. Yeah. It's, yeah. If it walked through the wall of radiance, it's a deck save. No, as it well. didn't on this side. Yours, okay. it's where she is. Down. Okay, that's a bad roll. 15 damage. Eight. 15 Four, damage? Two, three, is that six, halved yeah. already no. or no? No, she rolled really bad. That's why I don't and roll on have DVD that. On. So that is seven damage. Okay. Well, at least it's something. Um, <laughs> you are you are plinking them down, guys. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, fuck me. Roll me a d20 to see which attack they are going to make. Okay? High, and it's the claws. Low, and it's the bite. Uh, go, Pi. You tell me. Since it's coming at you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a five. Oh, hang okay. on. Oh, no, which already used their reaction. Forget uh -huh. it. But, oh, fuck, that's a nat 20. Um, okay, still, it's not that bad. This one is not that bad, okay? Well, actually, looking at it, it is that bad. It's a lot of them biting you. 
Um, I I should have read used... it up to his death. <laughs> I, I don't think I've used shield this round. You um, have not. Fiza can cast, can throw a shield. Oh, fuck. Um, I will use, um, what the hell is that stupid spell called? The one, the re-roll, silvery barbs. Silvery barbs. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Silvery barbs. 14. Advantage. Uh, that, that does not hit, yes? It does not hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so again, these things start like coming towards Elewin, and one of these butterflies just flies up, and Elewin's like, bats it away, and then that makes her realize that these things are right behind her. <laughs> <laughs> she moves out of the way. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 butterflies. Uh, good sign. Good sign. All right. Follow the butterflies. Uh, she'll take like a little Step. Only you step would just be out of the of way. It is your turn now, though. So, what oh, do you do? Great. I love that for me. Let's do. Um, ooh, beep, 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 beep. my wall is a concentration spell. I would imagine. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's go ahead and do a. Let's gonna kick these things ass. Um, let's do a. Did we establish fire damage is... You haven't... I don't think you guys have tried okay, fire okay, damage so we, on them we've yet. We've only so. done the... Let's let's fireball these guys. Let's... Uh, let's... Uh, I'll go ahead and do a third level fireball. So if I can get a uh, dex save from these guys. With disadvantage? Uh, correct. Cool. <clears throat> the first one was an 18. The second one... Is a nat one. Amazing. Hey. Okay. So, uh, I mean, it'll still take, uh, let's see, 8d6. It'll still take to half of that. So give me just a second. Nine. Eleven. It'll 21. take the full damage. Six. Yep. Uh, yep. I have to roll one more. Two, four, six, seven, one more, one more, hold on. Uh, eight, 12, 20, 26, give me just a second. Uh, 34 points of fire damage at these guys. Whoa, do you want to describe what it looks like as you oh, whoosh them? <laughs> thank fucking God. Um, yeah, so she's going to step back, like, startled at the butterfly. And uh, uh, I imagine that she pulls out her staff. Um, and like immediately like pounds it on the wood there and it starts to create that spirally um, magical energy that slowly, slowly as she's casting and muttering the incantation, it turns into fire and swirls around and just incinerates these guys. And brings them almost to half health. <laughs> so close. So close. Um, well done. Well done. Anything yeah. else that you're doing? Um, let me see. That I cast a spell, so I can't. Does my does my ring as a bonus action count as casting a spell? Can I use both of them? Uh, it's a bonus action. Yeah, but I uh typically I can you can either you can cast. They're not spells. Like the... They're okay. uh, are they? I don't think That's... they say they're spells, right? They don't. But I wasn't a hundred percent. Yeah, sure I gave I you. I gave you things that you could do for your bonus action because you were yeah. like, I hate doing one thing. Hell's yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and um, while she's there, let me see. Winter is close to her. Still correct. Uh, Winter keeps getting close up into this. Um, so as she's casting that fireball, uh, she'll turn around and she'll give um, the ring on her pinky will glow, and um, it's gonna like she'll go, and it'll like go at Winter and um, that glittery magic again, uh, and he'll get that bonus action of hastened strike. So he'll. Uh, he's granted an additional attack with reduced damage as a bonus action to an ally. So, Winter. I'll put that in chat, too. Ooh, and then, cool. yeah, that'll be my turn. Damascus. All right. I 
am going to uh do 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 do. Um I'm gonna let him take a swipe at me. I need to get out of the sphere. Um I will cast not cast, because I can't cast. I will use a I'm gonna give myself Bardic with my uh positive affirmations. Okay. So I just go. All right, Bum, you and I both know we're much better when we can cast some magic, so let's make sure we can do that. Uh, I am going to step back and let him take the opportunity attack if he wants to do so. He will do so. I'm aware that they will probably both. Okay, um, he's definitely going to hit you, so give me a second while I go get his stuff. Uh, fine. I'm right. He's going to swipe at you with a sword okay. for a 24 to hit. Um... That will hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oof. He's not hit with this yet. So that is 11 bludgeoning or slashing damage, my bad. Um, yeah. Plus, as it hits you. Fuck. Um, 25 acid damage. He just rolled okay. really well on that. Okay. Not much I can do about it. Not while I'm in this thing. Is his sword magic? Um, his sword is I don't know. Like it's created here's the thing. It's created from things that aren't of this pla- this world. It's not really magic, it's like a being. Okay. But so, uh, but I will take that. You know what? We'll take away the acid damage. Okay, your call. I just wasn't sure because we'll take because I didn't I, you know what I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I so whether the animagic spear nukes the, is where it too. Yeah, should that way? That way, it's fair. Yep. Well, won't be won't be for long. I nope. I need to go another step, and here, which means uh, if Pinky wants to, she can get an opportunity to attack on me as well. She'll take it. She will. Yeah, um. God damn it, Daniel. I mean, uh, fair. I need Spiria. to get out of his thing. Let's see. She's going to. She's gonna slash at you. Uh, and she sucks though. She can't roll for dice, period. So that's a 14. Does not hit. Beautiful. And then I am casting a third level dispel magic. Ooh. With advantage Ooh. because silvery barbs. You how do you have advantage? Silvery barbs. That's for an attack roll. I used a silvery barbs. Yes, but silvery barbs is for an attack roll. No. Silvery Barbs is for the next D20 I roll. So it's... I'll read it to you. To do. And uh, it's okay if I got it wrong. That's fine. Yeah. Magically distract the triggering, tr- the triggering creature and turn momentary uncertainty into encouragement. The triggering creature must re-roll a D20 and use the lower roll. You can then choose a different creature you can see, including yourself, the chosen creature's okay, okay, advantage okay. on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. And I also have my D10 that I can add if I choose to or if I need it, because I gave myself Go affirmations. Ahead. that uh, i got a 19 on the dice for a 24 without adding anything you still have to add the advantage sure. you're that's good no, no, that's with advantage okay that's okay. with advantage uh 24 as esme is gonna burn a counter spell she can't she already countered spelled uh when it's it was new... her turn did she not no it's a new round isn't it it's not her turn it, it... oh it's yeah yeah her yeah place it, in it the round done... derp yeah, derp derp i derped yet. for a second you're fine yeah. Um, yeah, that's why I did that. Yeah, it falls. Beautiful. So just yeah. rush forward, and from my hands, these little, like, t- just thousands of these little butterflies rush forward and start pecking at the magical oh. aura of this shield as he's trying to hold it up and just pick away little bits and fly off with it and fly off with it until it's all gone. And I go, all right, now we can fight fair. <laughs> can we? Maybe. uh sure it is <laughs> is that your turn uh bonus action action movement yes cool um so it'll be in Spira's turn next then no wait did i miss gilly gotta check yes yeah. mm. i did i did gilly it's me okay did, and a rev i just fucking like was looking at different places in this goddamn thing okay uh, go ahead. See, now i was preparing for just no thoughts trident only now i can do more things Otto will go ahead and try again. Go on. Nope. 
Otto did bad again. It's okay. <laughs> Otto's here for moral support. Otto. Sorry. Um, did I do any tentacle things? Do I have one of those out? I do, right? Because the the bonus one. Oops. Oh no, it got dis it got dispelled uh, when oh, you right. put okay. up the anti magic. Fair enough. Um, is, is throwing Otto a bonus action? Otto, it doesn't say it's a bonus action, and I think at one point we ruled that I just get to do that. So. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't remember, but that's fine. It's it's Otto is not very strong. Yeah, Otto <laughs> like, does like one point of damage. He's really just flavor. We, lo it, we love it's fine. You're fine. Oh, <laughs> honestly, reaction. Get... We throw Otto. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna try and it up because I'm that's what I was gonna do, and I'm mad at this guy, and I want to poke him. Okay. We're going to try to end it up at, I did real bad on one of my attacks, but one of my attacks I think will hit 17 plus 29. Oh, oh my god, that's such a cool act. That's such a cool trait he has. Fuck. What? Ooh. <laughs> my, my, uh, my guy has knowing. So uh, three times a day he can choose to have advantage on any attack or skill check. I just forgot. Which guy? The guy we hate? Yeah, the guy you hate. Mm -hmm. Great. Cool, cool. Um, yes, James? Ms. DM. Yeah? I hate to be that person. Uh-huh. I realized I earlier... Homework. I'm sorry, what? I forgot to turn in my homework. Um, <laughs> You know when Dan or Damascus cast Silvery Barbs? Uh-huh. To save Pi? Uh-huh. He was inside the anti-magic sphere and he couldn't have done it. Because he was literally right beside Edway. Okay, uh -huh. so I I I literally realized that like moments ago, and I was like, "It's gone." I messaged Dan. I was like, "It's been gone. It's gone so long. Like we need to tell just now, right? It's so late to retcon that." But like, yeah, um, like that's why I'm bringing it up. I'm like, I need to tell you now because like if you find out later that that happened like that's huge i even and, think about it and it's, it's because so it was far, so like there were so like there's been so many actions in between then that like we can't even like be like hey because so much has happened um do you want to call it like bombs power maybe it's like like he literally just merged souls with a god maybe it's like a new thing and now it extra power yeah, we're, again. Just, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that for this round it's okay. fine Sorry, Sorry, I just you needed. I needed. We needed to tell you. It's it's okay. It's fine. It's cool. We'll just go past it. I have to be better at keeping track of that stuff. Do you want me to take those twenty four acid damage then? To be fair, if it didn't affect me, it doesn't affect him. Sure, take okay. the twenty four acid damage. That's fair. Um, oh, that's a valid trade. Is dead? Why am I dead? Anyone? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Next time I have to do this, I need someone to draw like a circle around him so that we remember where it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we were really good with area of effect stuff, and we just kind of like fell off of it. Yeah, so yeah, I no, it's it... fine. It's totally good. Um, it, I'm not good. Like, I'm not gonna have a lay when pulled. It was a like nat twenty. Like, they do a lot of damage, That's... and they they. I'm just gonna die. You. It would have so, been bad again. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, that's what like I hated to. I'm like, you need to know. Like, that's not something that I should have held back, and that's I totally didn't fine. do it on purpose. I like I realized. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Like, when do I bring this up? Yeah, oh fuck! You know what we have been we haven't been paying attention with either, Gilly. You have a, you're poisoned. I think that this is the first round that it should affect me. But yes, I should have yeah, rolled at the beginning was. of my turn. Hold you on. should have. Yes. You sh no, no. You should have rolled at the end of your turn, and those attacks that you made would have been with disadvantage. Um, I thought that it was. Oh shit! Because it's it's the poisoned condition and well, one of them things. already failed. So I'll make the other one again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, it's, so it's Gilly's fine. just chilling this turn. Wait, let me know my poison damage though. Um, what was it? I there it is down. no poison. Oh yeah, it is forty six at the start. It's, Bro, it's I have a, not it's been paying nasty. attention. We oh, got real excited in this. There's a lot <laughs> of it's tough. There's a lot of people. I rolled parts. high. Great. We uh, got real excited in this. Chat. This is why so D and D is taking, wild. <laughs> I'm taking eleven poison damage, and then do I? Since it's the end of my turn, because I missed both, do I get to? Yeah. Um, okay. And what was the save? Con uh, save, con save. 
Yeah, you need to do a con save and you need to beat. That's not great. A DC 18. Nope, didn't do it. Wait, we'll still wait, poison. Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay. God, do I not have any bonus actions I can do? Hold on, I gotta be able to do something. I oh, I can I can get my damage there. tentacle back out. Yeah. Okay, damage tentacle back out. Uh does poison? It's is for barbarians because I'm not entirely sure. Your rate, your all the damage you take is halved. Is it? Does that work for poison as well? No. Okay. No, it's just a, like okay, okay. slashing and yeah. Uh. Okay, damage tentacle is gonna try and. Hey, damage tentacle critted. What does <laughs> that mean? <laughs> How much do you do? Uh, one d eight cold damage. To who? How do we do crits? Um, I'm gonna do. Well, I was gonna do Esme, so I'll I'll do Esme still. Uh, so Esme, roll two of them. Yeah. Roll two d eight. Two d eight. Okay. One of my games does weird crits, and I can never remember which one. Okay. Ooh, eight plus seven. Oh, do they do brutal criticals? Where you you do the max damage Maybe. and then wait wait I have brutal critical hold on would that count mm -hmm. for my tentacles as well yes cool. yes roll an extra dice hold on okay barbarian shit yay That's I rolled high eight. on all of these I got two sevens and an eight nice two sevens and an eight tentacle okay fourteen twenty two yes your so tentacles 22. the pinnacle and okay so here's what happens you hit her with this tentacle and her tentacle sort of blocks it just a little bit and it does less damage than you expect it to do that's fine that's much more than i was expecting it to do anyways so it's dumb work okay that's what this is yeah that's exactly they're just like they're just like playing footsies they're playing <laughs> tentacles um <laughs> Some chemistry her tentacle is know. slowly falling in love with your tentacle <laughs> um <laughs> it's gonna seduce it to the side of good I believe. <laughs> then you get two denticles forever. Hurry up. Hi, Light that's it up. me. Uh, yeah. So, like, how, how much is my wall doing for us? Is, like, the thought. <laughs> like, uh, it depends on where they attack from. So you guys are at, you guys are at the edge here, so they're coming for you. So they're going more through, um, they, go, well, they... Some of them might go through your wall if they attack you next round, where they're, right? I kind of, I roll a d6. And then, like, sixes are my choice. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Um... Oh, gosh. Um... I, I've been trying to, like, debate what I'm, I was going to do pretty much the whole turn. And I think... Holy shit, you know who wasn't on that list the entire time? Fucking Isis. Winter. Winter! There are six of you! Oh, Faisa yeah, there and... Are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change that. Well, he's not, like, right up on the edge. No, but, yeah. <laughs> Who's not on what list? The I list was, when I rolled the D6 yet. and stuff, I forgot oh. to add Winter to it. Yes, that's that's valid. Um, Shoot. I so a, a rev kind of like calls out across the arena and he just says um can everybody hang on immediately what? Damascus hunkers I'm down just in the middle of everything but uh sword up in the air so Edwin has been pelted by by different things, right? And I I've been staring at him pretty effectively. I I've, I've noticed if thing radiance hasn't done less damage to him, right? To Edwin? It, yeah. Cuz like I've um, hit him with my arrows and you didn't describe it as doing less than normal damage. I did not. I don't think so. You I mean take from that what you will. So then what I will do is I am going to upcast Ice Storm <laughs> as a fifth level evocation instead of a fourth. Okay. Um, and so basically 
uh, while Arev has one hand sort of like back and he's concentrating on this spell because Wall of uh, Ice Storm is not a concentration spell. Um, uh, creeping this Wall of Radiance behind him, he throws another hand up and he just starts swirling, his arm still glittering in his starry form of the archer as he pulls clouds below the actual branches above and just starts pelting what at first looks like um, giant ice pellets towards the ground until they like actually crack and slat, um, shatter across the earth itself, revealing them to be sort of a, a sparkly glowing crystal that dissipates into glittery light as I've transmuted this spell once again into radiant damage. And it says, uh, I am making it fall in a 20-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder centered on a point within range, which is up to 300 feet away from me. Uh, and each creature in the cylinder must take... Um, must make a dexterity saving throw. So, 20-foot radius. Uh, I need my measuring tool circle. So you're going to put it... That's all, That's a lot of your friends, too. Uh, that's why I yelled, everybody, hang on. Yeah. Okay. But they like, still have to do deck saves. Uh, so it, in in that circle that I had just drawn. Uh-huh. Um, where? Oh, I can't that hits you it. as well. There you no, go. Because, yeah, I, I had drawn it up. Okay. So that hits Gilly and Damascus and Callum. As well as Inspiria. And that'll hit Faza as well. Yeah, I'm trying to. And. And uh, winter, but that hits everyone there. Yeah, yeah. So, I I think that's the right call. I because nobody's concentrating on anything except me. Faze is Faze is concentrating on signal oh, radiance. Signal radiance. Okay. And so is so, Leland. But where was it? You know what? I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna do it like that. So Faza won't get hit, but all of the enemies, Damascus, Gilly, Winter, and I will. Bring it on. It'll also hit some zombies, so that's good. And I will also hit some zombies beyond the wall, yeah. Okay. So that's that's the sphere that I'm going for. So of my friends, I apologize, but Damascus, oh, Gilly, please make a dexterity saving throw against a 19. I'm very okay. dexterous, and Gilly uh, Callum has fails. advantage. Oh, Callum's Callum there fails. too. Um, Edwin oh. fails. Esme got a 20. Who else is there? Uh, Inspiria. Okay. Inspiria gets... A three. You're the fucking worst. Like, why do I even roll for you? <laughs> uh, and the zombies get a 17. Okay, so... I, is I it 18? On the dice. 17, so 18. Eight, 19. Was yeah, what you I, I failed. Oh, it's 19? Yeah, yes. yeah, the DC is 19, yeah. Uh, I will use my bardic that I gave myself. Oh, Winter needs to do it as well. Yeah, yeah. so Winter, Winter and Arev actually both failed. Both okay. fail. Everyone fails. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Everyone failed that. Yeah, I, I did roll concentration for the Wall of Radiance on on Arev as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so I I passed my concentration check. I just I I failed the damage. So everyone's gonna take full damage from this, which I is uh, what? Oh, you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, because he what? used Bardic. Okay, but what? What? Damn it! What type is this? So it's three d eight bludgeoning and four d six radiant. Okay. <laughs> Roll it out. So, so I get to half the bludgeoning. Winter probably halves the radiant, no? Uh, yes, he does, Maybe. yeah. And he actually has the radiant and the cold. Just Am I going to upcast? Am bludgeoning. I going to upcast? No, 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 no. Should oh, I, sorry, there's no cold. Out. Yes, radiant bludgeoning. Yes, thank you. Esme's running out of, like, what are those things called? Counter spells. Yeah. Does this stay up? Good. Uh, no, but okay. what it does is it turns the, um, it turns the storm's area of effect into difficult terrain until the end of my next turn. Okay. 
So it, it's just like a one turn thing. Yep, yep, yep. That's, shoot, that's a lot of dice. Oh, I just remembered um, Esme's speed is reduced by 10 feet until the next turn. That probably oh, doesn't matter, but just so you know. Yeah, <laughs> she's not moving anywhere. You guys are all there. Yeah, yeah fair. <laughs> okay, so um, unfortunately not that great, but um, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> <laughs> Plus six is 14. Uh, so that's actually only 15 points of damage total. Okay, uh, give me the bludgeoning separate. Uh, the, the bludgeoning, sorry, is seven. Seven. Okay, so if you'll take four of that. And, um, the, and then the other one? The radiant is eight. Eight. Perfect. He'll take that. Now you take 15, and you take 15, and Callum, you take 15. Ooh. Okay. Um, good turn. Good turn. Uh, uh, at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. Are you done? I, I still believe I have my bonus action. Okay. What are uh, you doing so with that? I'm just going to throw a bonus action radiant bolt with my archer form that I'm still in. Um, is, that, at... uh, is that bonus action? Yeah, it's a bonus action. Not... To, that's what okay, this Okay, so you can cast does. a bonus action and a cantrip, but not, a, not spell. a spell. It, no, no, it's, it's, it's not, not a spell. Guiding bolt. Okay, I'm okay, not okay. casting guiding cool, bolt. Cool. I'm using my my archer ability from my starry form. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So cool. yeah, it's it's a spell attack, but it's not like casting a spell. Yes, that is a crit. Okay, what do you do? Uh, How much? So that's forty eight plus five radiant. Nice. Um, hang on. Okay. 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 There's some good news after the terrible rolls. <laughs> I got a, literally nothing higher than a three with that radiant Something good ice happened. storm. Um, eight, nine, fifteen. That's twenty-five points of radiant damage. Twenty-five points. Okay, cool. You do that. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. That's that would be it. Yep. At the end of your turn. You see him kind of shake off the snow and the sleet from himself, touch his chest, and a wound that had been created there heals up just a little bit. Fucking paladins. <laughs> He's not a paladin. <laughs> He's a paladin. He's a fucking evil paladin. Uh, and he heals. He's going to heal for fourteen points of damage. I'm letting you know. That's, that's what he rolled. Who's he? That's, that's less than he took last turn. That's less than he took. And. Edwin. When he does this, okay. he's out of his legendary actions this turn. Uh, okay. This round. Good. So, next up is Inspiria. Inspiria is... Oh, half... Okay, so... Ooh, would she kill Callum? Uh, constitution saving throw, please. Because yes. uh, she's in Sickening Radiance. Yes. Sickening Radiance. Um, do, 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 do. Con save. It's a 10. Why do you not roll at all? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think she's rolling in our right. favor. Is uh, she's rolling in your favor. So that's uh, one forgot. level of exhaustion? That is a level of exhaustion of 40 10 damage. Uh, Esme has a level of exhaustion too because she failed when she first cast it. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this from now on. If you don't remind me when it happens, it yep. didn't happen. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, there's my rolls. 9, 18... 24, 25 radiant damage and a level of exhaustion. One level. And I will look up exhaustion for you. Thank you. So exhaustion. Uh, and she takes 25 damage. Oh, radiant, yes. Uh, she has disadvantage on ability checks right now. Good. Disadvantage on ability checks. Checks. Okay. And she can only move a little bit, right? Uh, half her movement speed because it's difficult to Half her terrain. movement speed. Okay. <laughs> Bitch is fast, though. Fuck. I did not expect that. I make these characters and I'm like, ha ha ha! Uh, okay, so she can move 20 feet then. So... It's difficult terrain. 
Yes. Yeah. It's ha- she can I move. She can move forty feet normally. Oh, okay. So twenty feet. Um, she's going to five. She's going to move up to Damascus over here, uh, and make her attacks. That That's okay. exactly what she plans to do. Damn. Um, making her two attacks. She's going to. You see her claw kind of like reach back to scratch at you. Those bones in her hand being filed into points. I don't love that. But she sucks at everything that she does. And she rolls a 13. <laughs> so she you goes wide. Gross. And as you're, you are gross. She's kind of like leaning in trying to bite you uh, with her second uh, attack. No, but no, I do not consent. Away. She slips on the ice. Okay. <laughs> And misses completely because she is the worst. <laughs> Winter. Yes. Uh, Winter also has that extra what? attack still. When, Winter's hasted. No, for what? For this round. Ring. For, oh. The yeah. the it does like half damage, reduced yeah. damage, right? So half damage. Uh, yep, grant uh, grant an additional attack with reduced damage as a bonus action. To it. Okay, I did not specify when I wrote that. Yeah, we're going to do... So whatever you roll on that, just half that one. Okay. But you I... still get an extra one, and it's not haste. Yeah. So um, the first attack is going to be on, I believe, Esme, who's still standing right in front of him. Okay. Because, I mean, she hasn't moved, right? So she's the blue one? Yes. Yes. So first attack on Esme. That's a... Ooh, that's a good roll. 17 plus... Um, 10. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 to hit. That'll hit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And I think it's time to start pumping smites into things. Hey, about time. So, I mean, well... Motherfucker! I mean, he... All of... Two of these guys have magical resistance, Jessica. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. I forget it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Third level smite. Yeah, do it. And uh, it gets the bonus die right because it's a uh, fiend or undead. Uh, you don't have a uh, you... Beloth was what gave you no, that. No, um, smiting itself oh, gets yes. an addition. Yes. Yes. Okay, and uh, the yeah the, the weapon that gets the extra d6, that's not being covered by him being the god of winter currently? Okay, so then That it's... was specifically from, that was Beloth. Okay, so with his improved smite a paladin ability, it's going to be 1d8 for the weapon plus 6, followed by uh, an additional, basically 6d8 radiant, so um, let's just, let's just go, let's just roll dice and see what happens. Uh, so, uh, eight points of magical bludgeoning damage, followed by, oh, that is on the floor, that does not count. Got it. Uh, 14 plus eight is 22, 23, 20. Six, uh, 26 points of radiant damage. So eight plus 26 is 34 points of damage overall. Yes. Well done. Okay. Uh, that, was, that was his first attack. What's okay? Uh, how's she looking? She's hurt. Second attack still going straight at her face, then. Uh, Ramble Unicorn Dice, let's go. Davis Unicorns. That is an 18 to hit. Uh, that hits. Cool. Uh, we're going to do it again. We're going to just go ahead and throw... Um, we'll do a second level smite, though. So it's uh, one less d8. So... So the first one. Uh, Ten points of bludgeoning damage, followed by... Uh, Eleven... Um, oof, Eighteen, twenty-two... Yeah, no, that's that's right. So 32 points of damage for the second strike. Oh, dang. Uh, she's 
looking rather beat up. And then I uh, get a third hasten, qu- uh, hasten strike, quick and strike, mm-hmm. which is uh, lessened damage. But let's roll again. Uh, that's a nut 19. So that's uh, it. okay, cool. I don't think I'm going to smite on this one just because it's it would be halved on the smite, right? The smite doesn't get to go around the half damage. Uh, yeah, no, it would be halved. Okay, no, then... smite smites are different things, right? Like they just well, it like pumps magic into the attack. So it, it's up to your ruling because you you said that like you the know what I would be we're gonna go with no, it's half damage. It's what I said for the thing, so that's that's what we do. Yeah, save your smite. Okay, so then that that's is a waste be... of a smite. Uh, so two plus six is eight. Halved is four. So it's just an additional four points. That's still good. Uh, you in in that attack, and I'm going to tell you, Winter has brought her just below half health. Guys, I told you uh, this is the BBG shit. You are level twelve. Oh, it's it just going to get harder from here. Oh boy. Yeah. No. Bring soon. It on. Sack the soon, HP. Your your uh the people that you pissed off your og gods are starting are gonna start showing up i haven't been able to do any damage this fight yeah uh, i so didn't piss off any gods i'm just here yeah you're just you're just a poor <laughs> bystander in this <laughs> uh, was, so that's influence. his turn um i believe so because that was all of the attacks um it, No, you, you you know what? I never use this ability, so I'm I'm gonna use it now. Um, I'm gonna use the bonus action for Veter's Black Ice. The extra attack was a bonus action, I believe. Oh, yeah. is that his? Oh, it's about well then disregard. No, 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 no. It's her bonus action. Gotcha. That's her bonus action. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Very cool. Okay, so then uh, Veter's Black Ice. So uh, it's a range of sixty feet and um. I create an invisible sheet of ice under the foot of a creature I can see within 60 feet. They must make a dexterity saving throw against winter spell save DC, which is 17. Um, so um, I'm going to do it to... I'm going to do it to uh, Edwin. Edwin? Yeah, okay. so he's got a... Dex save? Yeah, dex save 17. Uh, 18. <laughs> Oh, is okay. it, does anything else happen? Uh, so take he takes two d six cold cut in half, but no other ill effects. Uh, if if he had failed, it would have been that he was knocked prone. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh, oh. half it again after that. Oh, gross. Uh, it that's two points of ice, cold damage. He looks annoyed. <laughs> He looks annoyed. His feet got a little chilly there. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's now Esme's turn. You know what? Constitution saving throw. Smart. So, oh, she's good at this. Just contact. Uh, 21. Okay. That passes. Nothing happens. Okay. She's, she's also really smart. She turns just a little bit. And casts, uh, it's not even, it's a, it's, oh yeah, it is. It's a ring spell. She casts Hurl Flame twice at Phaza. Um, For an 18 Um, to hit. And a a 19. Is is she a fiend or anything? Does she have disadvantage? For what? Because I did the protection from that. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. The next one, of, so one of them is a nine. So then it's an eighteen to hit because I'll say that the nineteen, yep. nineteen and eighteen. The next one is a twenty-four, and okay. a an eighteen. Uh, yeah, her AC is eighteen. I'm trying to remember. Does she have her reaction? I don't did know. She counterspell something. I don't think she did. Um, Faza hasn't this round. I don't. Okay. Think. Uh, then she will. Uh, she'll shield. AC goes okay. up to 23. Neither of them hit. Neither of them hit. She screams and just rage. Uh, but that is her turn. 
at this point over the edge of the fucking tree. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ren and Elephir falling to his death. <laughs> A rev shouts, Tell them! Catch him! <laughs> I'll give Callum, I will give Callum two, I will give him two rolls here. One of them is going to be a dex save and the other one is going or a dex check and the other one is going to be a strength check. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> As he dives to catch this being that he's never seen before. Dex. He's good at dex. He's plus four, okay? But he rolled an 11. Damn. So just as he dives, he's just a little bit too late. And you know why he's just a little bit too late? Because he's surrounded in ice. He's surrounded in ice. He slips. And Rananel puts out his hand, but doesn't. they don't quite connect. And down Rananel goes. And you hear as he falls, crack, 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 crack. As he hits branches on the way down. Uh... Nothing I can do. Uh... Would I thought you got another one of those temporal even... shunts. No, it's gone. No, I mean, Would... are you going to? You can't. No, you can't. You have a you have a reaction. Do... Me. I'm starting to run out of them. Um, Up to you. Damn it. Um, yeah, because I'm I'm not close enough to Callum to do... <gasps> because I am chronicle ship that son of a bitch! Okay! Ah! All right! Run 30 feet! I thought he was further away from me. So you as watch. everything's going cattywampus and, like, Renanel starts falling, Alewin is, like, in tears and chronal shifts that shit. Perfect. Oh, okay. God. Dex save. 15. Oh. He just, just catches the tips of Rananel's fingers. Uh, Rananel's claws accidentally just grabbing into his hand, hurting him just a little bit. Um, now, now here comes the fun part. It's the strength save. He's only a plus one. So I'm going to roll. And we're going to see what happens. You know what? This feels like a real dice roll, too. Hang on. Mm. This feels like a real dice roll, too. Am I close enough to give him a little D3 worth of boost? I'm not. That's an action. Okay. So. Okay. Rananel slips from his hands as he's barely able to keep himself on the tree as well almost going off the edge and again you hear crack 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 as he hits all every branch on the way down but i mean We'll roll to see how well he heals. Maybe he doesn't die. He do death saves. He has to do death saves. So you know what? Here. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll the damage for him. And we're going to see. You're, it's per 10 feet. It's, it's 1d6. Yes. Mm -hmm. 1d6 so, per 10 feet to a maximum of 200. Is the official roll. So you're about. Okay. Okay. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll it. We're going to see. Roll dice. Let's do it. One, two, three. Right. I rolled a lot of ones, okay? As he's falling, because he definitely has more hit points than this, okay? As he is falling, you hear crack, 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 crack. But You know what? I'll let you figure it out when we get down there. Great. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just watching five freak out. 
<laughs> okay. All right. He's on. Okay. At Renanel is gone. God, the cutting is going to be so fucking pissed off. I know. <laughs> so yeah, no big deal. Just you know, my boyfriend being dropped down a tree and shit. It's just chill. Listen, just... listen. It's been a it's been a time. A lay win is having a struggle here. <laughs> I have literally no magic or abilities that can help, no. and I never cleared uh... with Jess whether I have wheel or woe, so I have no idea which reaction I have. Roll it. I, I rolled a fucking 18, so I have wheel. I can add a d6 to try and, as a reaction, to try and bonus save the strength save. Roll a d6. That's 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 all I've got. Roll a d6. It's not nothing. Come on, gay beautiful unicorn dice, do your shit. Oh, gay unicorns! I believe in you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ousted by my own dice. <laughs> yeah, you gave these to me. Let's see what happens. Nat six, right here. That's enough. <gasps> what? Callum reaches reaches into his uh his quiver and as he's starting to slip off, jams an arrow into the tree and pulls with all his might. Rananel catching onto the tree with one of his arms, pull, digs his claw in, and together they pull themselves back onto the tree. <laughs> Lewin is like screams running all's name. James is gonna go cry. <laughs> <laughs> As this is happening, the second they're like up and running all is on like solid ground, Lewin is like, "You better get away!" From and he's like Towards yelling, the shouting, like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> to a child, like, "You better get away." Fucking oh shit! Uh, next, it is Edwin. Needs to roll con save. Well, I used my reaction, everybody. Same. <laughs> I'm. I'm spent. Oh, worth it. I've been doing. I've been rolling the wrong saves for these motherfuckers. I wrote in actual saves. <laughs> oh, okay, his con save is very high. Worth a try. Thirty-two. Yeah, no, that doesn't do shit. <laughs> he rolled really well. He rolled really well. Um, let's see. What would he do? What would he do? Fight me. He can cast anti magic field again. Ugh, lame. But coward. All right. Well, you gotta hide in your little anti magic bubble. It's the only way you can fight. So here's what's happening then. You are. Tell him. He knows you love he knows FaZe is someone you want to protect. So he's gonna move around Gilly. Not leaving her range her out of he's not out of her range, so he doesn't get an attack. But he's gonna unleash the next four attacks of his onto FaZe. Because it? she's concentrating on something and he's not stupid. Mm -hmm. She also has shield up. Uh huh. So that would be what? Twenty three, sir. Twenty three. Okay, so he is plus thirteen. Oh, also, to most he of has his disadvantage. Attacks. Disadvantage. Disadvantage for I forget. Is that he a fiend? Good and evil. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. He's gonna use so one much. of his knowings yeah. to at least counter that. So it's just a straight roll. Um. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh so here's what's gonna happen. He's about to unleash four of his large attacks on her. Um, and you know what? I'll say he'll do two regular and two with disadvantage. Uh, because he has three knowings. He's gonna waste a couple and just be an asshole. Uh mm -hmm. let me sorry, I'm erasing all the dice here. Uh okay, so one and two. These ones are the regular ones. And he is rolling. That is not great. Seven. Seven plus 13 is. Doesn't do it. 20. Doesn't do it. Next one. All right. Next one is a. Come on. Sorry, my computer's trying to go fucking 
Three. Doesn't do, Doesn't it. do it. Okay. Man, these cool bad guys. Uh, his sword swings at her head for a 25. On that does do it. And then he stomps, trying to shake the ground and knock her backwards. But that's only a 15. Ah. So she takes 15 bludge- or slashing damage and then 19 acid damage. Uh, sorry, say that one more time. 15 and 19? Yes. So if you want me, do you want me to add it up for you? No, I got it. I'll just do 15 and then so 19. It's 34. Yep. Okay. She's at and 63. That's, She's okay. That's his turn. Can I have two? Can I have a con save there? Yep. She's fine. Uh, that is a 13 plus. She's a fucking. She's a sorcerer. Plus nine. 22. Okay. Sorcerer. It's Faza's turn. Faza will. Okay, so you're just going to go and hit on the little girl? Fine. Fuck you. And she'll just circle around the side. I can do this too. And lightning bolt. That'll hit him. Uh, Esme Disadvantage, and right? Pinky Pink. Why disadvantage? Uh, oh, he has no because it's it's a ranged attack, but it's also she doesn't. It's not a hit. Saving throw. She, he has to, saving throw. He has to jump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so... saving throw. She's gonna do it at let's go. Okay. Uh, let's call it a fifth level lightning bolt. Fifth level lightning bolt. Okay, so he has advantage, and so does she on magic things. So oh. let's roll these right now. Uh, she saved for sickening radiance. By the way. Uh, total. Who? Faza for the Faza... concentration save. Oh, for a concentration okay. save. That's yeah. That's what I was asking you for before. You said twenty-two. Oh. oh, sorry. I thought that was for like some magic thing that he did for damage. No, no, no. Uh, he nat twenty, so okay. he's gonna take half. And she, okay. let's see it. She rolled a fifteen on the dice and adds. What do you add to this? La bitch adds seven to that. So she's probably fine. Uh, so they take half. Uh, oh, and she used um, careful spell so that Damascus takes half automatically. I We don't play our careful spells that way. We play our careful spells like she could make it miss you. Okay, so Damascus takes none then. Oh, this is a good roll. Six, 11, 16, 20, 23, 26, 30, 36, 33, 37. 37 have to uh, 15, 18. Yep. Okay. 19. We'll round up. Okay. Ooh, Esme is looking rough. Very, very rough. At the end uh, of her turn, bonus are you action. Done? She's bonus action. She's going to just try and shove him. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> it's it's a strength save. Yeah. Uh, thirty-two. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Um, Bro, this guy's massive. Like you guys are. Yeah. He's large. He's like he's a he's she, just a brick wall. She circles back to not be right at the edge of the thing, so still not leaving her her his range, but. Slightly safer. She's gonna be at right the end of here. his turn, though. He is going to attack her yeah. with a claw. Um, let's see if this hits. Um, 21. She does uh, not have shield up, she'll put it back up. Okay, and at the end of her turn, yeah. the NPCs go again. <laughs> they're get they're they've been plinking your zombie horde like yeah. an insane amount. I um, would love to help. Watch. You see Talon. Uh Talon is now worried for Callum and he books it over to him. 
uh, using, well, he can't, he can't make it. He won't make it there. Um, he's going to, he teleports himself. He's gone one second and he dimension doors himself like right over to beside Callum. And you see him touch Callum and Callum gets like this bit of a sheen over his skin. Uh, and it glitters. And he heals up just a little bit. Uh, Callum unleashes a bunch of arrows, letting go of Rananel. He dives away, pulls the arrow that he just used to hold himself up. L like, he's still, he hasn't even gotten up. Like, he's, like, firing, laying down, and just one, two, three, they spread again. Uh, oh, and then, of course, we Callum. have... <laughs> And then, of course, we have Bysis, who, by the way, I rolled all these in advance, so we know if they hit or they don't. Um, except for Talon, I have to fucking look at his spells every goddamn time. Uh, <laughs> Bysis misses horribly, and uh, Nat ones. It actually gets oh. a little hurt. Ah. <laughs> but, you know, they don't want to eat him because he's dead. So it's cool. Uh and the horde thins just a little bit. We're back at the top of the round. It is the zombies' turn. Can't save. Let's see. If they're going Can't anywhere save. near us. Mm, who are they going to go for? Let's roll. They got a wall, too. I don't know okay. how many seconds it's been, but I get it for a whole minute. And I don't know how many rounds we've had. You, I'm you, out. It's still up for quite a while. Okay. okay um, shit. Okay, so they are going after Faza again. Uh, that means they don't hit any of your shit other than her stuff, so they have to do a con save. Correct. Um, okay, let's do this con save. 24. Oh, yeah, that, that passes. Okay. Um, ugh, okay. They make one bite and one claw attack. Well, they... Disadvantage. 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 <laughs> so. I did a thing. You did, did a, a thing with disadvantage. Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The first one is a 23. The second one is a 15. Uh, first one hits. Second one misses. Nope. I know. With disadvantage. Oh, The first gotcha. one is a 15. Gotcha. Oh, second attack fun. is the claws, where they rip... And they start trying to drag her towards them. Oh. Okay, 11 and a 12. They miss. <laughs> and Faze Your... scrambles away from them. <laughs> oh, that was such a good spell, Gilly. <laughs> this is a good one, yeah. Um... Oh, she shouldn't fucking even have it. She was in the, she was in the zone when the anti-magic spell went up. No, she wasn't. Faza? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, yeah, she was down there. Alaywin. She was down here. It's me. It's my turn. Okay, so um, from where I'm standing, can I tell who is looking worse off? Like, because Esme is right in front of me. Does she look kind of worse for wear? Yes. Okay. Um, Can I get a wisdom saving throw from Esme? Yes, you can. Okay. 27. She rolled okay. a nat 20. Amazing. It doesn't matter because it still takes damage even with uh, a success. So um, a lay win, what's going to happen is she's going to uh, flip her staff around and it's going to create this like reflective surface as she casts um, Despair of Infinite Agency. Um, so oh, what, what that is, fuck? is one creature you can see and which you can see um, makes a wisdom saving throw as you confront it with a mind rendering awareness of every possible timeline which belongs <laughs> to it. Visions of uh, the infinite choices it could have made during every moment of its life flash through the creature's mind. On a failed save, it takes 8d10 psychic damage or half as much damage on a success. So... You're, um, what she's going to see is this like reflective, like rippling pool, basically, that creates a mirror with Lewin's staff as these images are floating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Can I add to that? And, huh? Can I yeah, add to that? Go this? for it. Bet. So as you create that mirror and these images start flickering through, Echo pops through it 
and grabs her head, pulling her forward <laughs> through it so that she has to Round. watch what Sorry. is happening. Oh, perfect. Hell yes. Okay, give me just a second to roll. Um, so since she, since she didn't save, it's um, 4d10 of psychic damage. So give me just a second. Um, so 14. Uh, nice. 20, 20, 29 points of um, psychic damage. Nine. All right. She is barely hanging on. She comes out of that and she is... She doesn't know what she saw. Her eyes are wide. She's babbling. I don't. Would you? I can finish her off. Uh, Ooh, would you allow me to use my fire mage's ring, which is one bonus action? You're not casting a spell with that, right? Is it what? What does it do? It's. Um, let me look at it. Uh, without burning a spell slot yeah so it's you're says not casting a spell yeah so Do it. it says that um so with the golden ring with red um once per 24 hours a wearer may cast um a spell they know that inflicts fire damage that's second level or lower without using a spell slot so as she's like kind of pulling away and dazed um i'm gonna go ahead and hit her with ooh, i can go up to a second level um let's do a scorching ray um, okay. So, do I still have to roll for an attack for that? Technically. Oh. Um. Three attacks. Yep. Yeah. You do. Three so bolts. Still roll. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me, let me just a second. So. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. <laughs> Two nat twenties. Hell yes. Hell yes. Shit. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. She's I feel immune. so bad. She half damage. She's immune. She's immune. To Fuck. fire. Um, to uh, fire. Yeah. She's from uh, the hells. Oh, shit. Wait, um, did I use oh, my no, reaction? Oh, no, she's not from the hells, but she is immune now. <laughs> did I use my reaction? Uh, damn. I don't know. Yes. Is Wheeler yes. Woe a reaction? Uh, we, yeah, Wheeler Woe is a reaction. Then you did, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, so I can't use my sash. Oh, that, that sucks. sucks. That sucks. Uh, Any- there were two oh. nat 20s. Yeah, I know. Is there anything else I could do? Um, oh. Is there Fuck. any way, since Echo got called, and since I rolled two nat 20s and a 19, I will take a picture That's of this. That's fucking fair. Shit. Okay, what are, you, what, are you, what are you looking for? So, like, as she's going to, like, use this ring, can Echo, like, sense that it's not going to do anything? And as that, like, magic from the ring, the scorching ray comes out, it just, like, pushes, like, Echo, um, like, transmutes it, basically, and just, like, pushes her head back in. So, so like, psychic You hit her uh-huh. with this magic, and you see her go, her clothes kind of flame up and stuff, but she looks fine, still a little dazed, and... Out of nowhere, Echo appears once more, grabs her by the hair, and says, no, 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 not my friend. Mm -mm." And then pulls her with her into her domain. Oh. Oh, shit. And she's gone. Well, that's different. She had five hit points, guys. I'm not making you fuck. Like, that was, that was. I got two nat 20s. You got two nat 20s. No, no, I was like, it's gotta be something. You got two nat 20s. <laughs> Echo, Echo, and Echo loves you. So, no, no, no. Not my friend. Amazing. Okay, that's my turn, everybody. <laughs> nice. oh. Good turn. Damascus. Okay. Oh. Uh, question. The zombies. There are mm-hmm. many of them. They each count as different creatures. Yes. No, there was well, a horde, but like, do your thing. What do you want to do? Beautiful. Um, Damascus is so tired of not having hurt anybody this fight. <laughs> uh, he's loading everything up. He points his sword at uh, fucking, what's his name? Wendell or whatever. Uh, Wendell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Listen, what's Wendell? All right. Wendell. <laughs> I, you know what? Damascus Somebody points his sword at Edwin and goes, Wendell. Wendell. Oh, whatever the fuck your name is. Psychic damage. <laughs> Edwin. Get the fuck away from her. Um, 
he's going to, I'm fucking loading this up. I'm going to go fourth level uh, branding smite. So my next attack, the next creature that I hit with my sword will take an extra 46 radiant damage. And that was a bonus action. And then I am going to cast Steel Wind Strike. And I am going to hit him first, uh, Pink Lady second, and then okay. I'm going to go for three for four, uh, three different zombies. To okay. hit the zombies three times. Okay, and go, go, go. And he has my hex thing on, so I crit on a 19 or 20. And I've got a luck point that I don't mind fucking burning to try and get it. I believe, I believe. 12, that would have hit. I'm using a luck point. I'm, I'm fishing for that crit. 19. Ooh. Fucking 19. Let's go. I'm smiting. Do it. Yeah. I smite. That is 2d8. No, 4d8 for the smite because it's a crit. 4d6, 8d6. I'm just, hang on. I need to put it in all my cat, my little calculator. That is I, uh... fight me. 2d8 for the smite plus 4d6, 8d6 for the radiant. Nope. Uh, he's a he's a fiend, isn't he? Yep. Sixty-eight plus eighty-six plus six d ten force damage. Uh, let me see if I add my modifier to that. I don't. Nope. Plus twelve d ten because I yeah, crit. Cool. Just I'm doing sixty-eight plus eighty-six plus twelve d ten damage. Roll. Fight me a hundred and twenty-four motherfucking damage, bro. How Damascus. mean do I want to be right now? Your call. This was epic, and I really love it. Do it. Oh, I feel like such I've a been, cunt. I've been eating shit this entire fight. Go for it. I feel like so, I feel so bad. I have he reactions. Not, he would not so let that I. hit him. Um, he burns a legendary action. Oh, or a legendary shit. resistance. Can't use legendary resistance. It's not a saving throw. It's a steel wind strike, isn't it? It's an attack. It's an attack roll. Legendary but resistance only works on saving throw. Legendary resistance. Oh. Check it. Only works on saving throws. That's oh, why oh, I oh, oh, oh. I knew he had it. Okay. Perfect. 124 damage. You hit him for 124 damage. damage. Yeah. And by the way, I still get to attack the other girl and three fucking zombies. You Let's go. Most fucking, like, you uh, you yes, describe yes. to me what it looks like as you wail on him. Damascus just, it, it's not even wailing. He just points his sword, goes, Wendell, whatever the fuck your name is, get the <laughs> fuck away from her. And he just bursts into a swarm of butterflies that immediately swarm around him and just start pecking and biting and as he's like trying to bash them away part of it reappears and Damascus just bam right into his chest just a single blow with his sword just sticking into him he looks at him and goes that was my fucking friend you killed and then pumps it full of that divine glowing energy and it just radiates outward beautiful he has to take a knee you hurt him so badly Bitch. do your other attacks and then i disappear and i do the same thing to three other people four other people roll your damage uh pinky Ooh. is 12 plus there's a 22 hit i believe 22. uh pinky 22 hits that is 60 10 i'm rolling this all online i don't have dice right now 60, 10 for Pinky. Oh, sorry. Plus another four to him. Because of my <laughs> hex blade thing. <laughs> uh, Pinky takes 28 to damage. Zombie one. You crit, you crit on him. Is four doubled? No. Okay. Only a dice roll. Zombie? Zombie uh, is an 18 hit. Zombie? Yes. 23 damage. Zombie two. 25 hit oh oh zombies you hit once like it's a horde you, okay, you've so done I this can't with you. Hit yeah. them, like, yeah. you can't anyway. do individual but you like you fly through them just slicing and dicing as they take Fair 23 enough. points of damage and i are... re and uh -huh. i reappear 
here next to Faza, like side mm-hmm. by side. Okay. I just look at her okay. and I go, we got this, darling. And that's my turn. You see her Ooh. look immediately like calm. Sweet. Like she's not afraid anymore of this massive hulking figure in front of her. She knows everything's going to be okay. Um, And also I super have... impressed. Like you're getting laid tonight, bro. Um, I <clears throat> wink at her. And because I still haven't actually technically moved, I've only teleported with steel wind strike. I throw my ke- coat directly into his face. <laughs> and I, Whoa. you know what? H- hang on. I turn, <laughs> I throw my coat directly in his face. I turn, I give Faza a quick kiss. She's swooning just a little bit. Um, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Kissing a free action. Kissing is a free action. Uh, okay. Gilly, fuck some shit up. Okay. Yes. Okay, seeing as how we've just done a bunch of damage to this guy, I would like him to keep it. So I'm going to cast Chill Touch again. I'm going to do okay. my skeletal hand, bitch, and get him. Which, okay, let's see. What do I have to do for that? Um, ranged spell attack. Okay, so that's plus five. Ooh, please roll well. Okay, okay. 17. 22? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so he takes 3d8. <laughs> I love how stressed you guys are right now. <laughs> I am so stressed out. Oh my god. You're trying to kill out of everybody like I love before. at this moment. <laughs> and I'm so stressed out. <laughs> okay, so that's 10 um the I think necrotic, hold on. Yeah, 10 necrotic damage, and he can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. And necrotic damage. Let's see here. What does he do? Do, 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 do? He is not immune or resistant to that. Cool. He takes those um, 10 oh, damage. Oh, speaking of the start of my turn, I gotta take Yes, 4d6, please. Uh, 4d6. 11. Okay. Hold on. My tablet's in low power mode, so it keeps on going to sleep okay okay um and then oh, rolling a con save my, oh yeah oh at the end of your turn at the end of your turn oh still got my 10 still got auto let's see if auto, still got auto. whip auto <laughs> auto's going on uh what's her face no no auto's not doing that actually auto's man if just... auto ever nat 20s i swear to god he blinds someone he's just yeah. on them He's got little pom poms, and he's just cheering us on, and it's very effective. Okay. World's, be- world's um, best octopus. Then my damage tentacle is going to try and hit that same lady, and also is going to do poorly. Okay, whatever. It's up to me. Fine. Come on. I got a... Wait, so I already did one action, so I get one attack with my trident. Please do a good... Does 20, 22 hits, right? Because I just did. Yeah, you 22 hits. Did... Okay, cool. Yay. Stand by. Arr. 12 plus 22 damage. 20, to 22 damage? Edwin. However you say that name. Wendell. Wendell. Wendell to Wendell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wendell is not even able to, like, keep his feet. He is stumbling backwards. Um, And you know what we're going to do with this because of that? He stumbles backwards right to here. And oh, speaking you... of, I was, I was doing the extra pushy thing. So he doesn't okay. have to make a save. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So That's before we even do that, I'm like, I'm giving you a moment here because, like, it's so He's close. barely holding on. Okay, it's such oh. a that's such a dick thing. Um, Somebody could get an opportunity. Okay, so a save. What is a it? DC strength fifteen strength save. Unfortunately, but yes, thirty two. Okay, yeah. all right. He's not stumbling. He's standing there. Did you do your con save? Yeah. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> that would be a nat He's one. Still a rot. Okay, nat one. Never mind. You're still you're still poisoned. <laughs> Good thing to waste a nat one on. Oh, that's a great. rev. Um, 
just out of curiosity, why did Wendell move away from Damascus and Faza? I was going to have him it? stumble because she pushed him so oh, hard, okay. but he's I he's, pushed he's him in strong as he's he's an ox. Like he he's not stop. He got a thirty two on that save. So he. I was going to give you guys like extra attacks because he's got like nine fucking hit points. Okay. Um, I just asking if you like a rev. Get him a rev. Oh, you know what? Might as well. He's gonna attack before he leaves. He's he's got legendary actions, guys. Yeah, no, of but, course. Of but he's gonna attack. So, like, you get to attack. Uh, he's gonna attack. Who's gonna attack? He's gonna attack Illy. Bring For it 29 on. Twenty-nine to hit. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, that hits. That hits. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. and it's. It's the it's with his sword, so I'm sorry. Seventeen damage, sla blood uh, slashing damage, so you can have that. Yeah, so eight. Is and eight then, or nine? Uh seventeen divided by two is uh eight. Yeah. Two so nine, eight. Depending on okay. eh, I, I'm not gonna make you roll up. It's fine. <laughs> um and then twenty five acid damage. Okay. We're still good. Okay. Still good. We're still fine. Arev. Yes. Kill a bitch. <laughs> um, as I'm staring across the battlefield, you know, it, so much has happened. Light, lightning's been tossed around. Gilly's been fighting through this sickening poison that's ripping through her blood. Uh, <laughs> Alewin's been blinking Renanel back and forth and Renanel's just sitting there like gasping on the ground as Kellum's launching ballista era from his back like into the crowds of zombies and I just look across the battlefield at the staggering Edouin and make eye contact and in the back of my head I hear that voice of Varian going can you please get him for me And smiling, Arev goes, I'll do what I can. And he simply holds up his palm. And in his palm is the collapsed telescope that was with him as a baby that's been traveling this entire way with him. And he grips it and pulls radiant energy out fr from inside of it down his arm and he just pulls it back as he forms it into the heart of a spear blazing with radiant energy the tip of it and he just pulls it back and as he goes to launch it it's almost like the hands of varian push the spear across the battlefield as he casts guiding bolt and he's actually going to upcast it. Oh. He's going to upcast it at sixth level. Ooh. The highest level magic that he has. I shit you not. That's a nat fucking 20. Nat 20? Yes. <laughs> fucking kill him. Murder him. Rob. Murder him. I like want to take a photo of that. I Whoa! totally believe you. Murder him. Uh, <laughs> uh oh shit. Okay. Uh guiding bolt, like my signature fucking spell this entire Hell in yes. session one. Cast at the highest level. Um that's 18 D6. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not if you want to roll, you can, but you, you murder roll. him. <laughs> you gotta roll it. You murder this man. If you want, you can. Otherwise, he's just dead. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just want to, I just want to know. I, you know, I just want to know. Go ahead. Do okay. the math. Uh, <sighs> can can someone can someone hey do do this with me? Sure. How many dice you want me to roll? Oh, uh, you know what? Or do hey, you want me to count? I'll count it up for you. Go ahead. Roll. Okay. Here. So. Four? Uh, uh, I've done four. I'm doing four at a time. So, uh, nine plus two as eleven. We're at eleven. Okay. I'll, I'll, if you call out the numbers, I'll add it up. 
Yes, I just have 14 dice left to roll. <laughs> 15. 11 plus 15. Got it. 26. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another 15. Okay. 41. Holy shit. Uh, that's 20. Okay. So that's 4, 8, 12, 16. Two more dice. <laughs> plus another 7. You do 68 damage. So I, I, as I've pulled this spear out, like straight on the, the fucking description too, as I pulled the spear out, out from this locket uh, th that contains the telescope that allows me to see the night sky from 50,000 years ago, this this one relic that like ties my whole essence, um, and I pull this spear back and feel Varian's hands pair with mine, I pull back and my eyes lock at the soft spot of Edwin's throat and I simply rocket it forward and like a sonic boom one second into in my hand and then around my hand just like there's rings of power that echo backwards as it launches across and catches him straight through the neck and then he falls backwards he falls backwards right off the fucking tree as he's Dead. falling I use my reaction to kick him with advantage because it's guiding bolt. You <laughs> kick him, you know what, completely off the foot. Like, just, Fuck he didn't you. even tumble <laughs> off. You just fucking yeet him into the air. He's, you hear as he falls, boom, 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 to the ground, dead. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice shot. I thought there was one. Well, and one. two hordes, but. <laughs> I have a feeling the hordes will be gone once we deal with these bitches. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus action use of my starry form radiant bolt. Go for it. Twenty two to hit. Murder. <gasps> Murder. Uh, but ten points of radiant. She's stumbling around. Okay. To murder. Stumbling around. Yeah. Um. It is her turn next. <laughs> what the fuck is she? Like, Good you luck. don't do shit. <laughs> she's going to make her slash and bite attack and miss both times because that's what she does. Uh, she, that's how she rolls. She books it over to Gilly because that's the one who's closest to her. And I, uh, and let's, let's, let's see what she does. Um, she never that hits, so. Like, she might. At least got pretty low AC. She might, um, yeah. Okay, so Incredible. dirty 20 this time. Okay. And I twenty six. I I spoke too soon. Um, she done did it. It's all half. <laughs> are these fourteen what kind of attacks? Are these uh uh a bite and a claw? Melee. Ah, boo. Okay. <laughs> Go. I got resistance. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Piercing damage fourteen. So half that. So seven. seven. Make me a Constitution saving throw. Mm hmm. More poisoned. Super poisoned. 20? Dirty 20? Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I would you're not fine. like to be a zombie, you're fine. You're zombie fine. gilly. Fine. <laughs> and then six slashing damage after that. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I've forgotten this whole time. I have a fucking reaction. If someone uh -huh. damages me, I can do Hellish Rebuke. I'm going to do yeah. Hellish Rebuke. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Burn that bitch. On this lady. Okay, how does that... Uh, 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 uh. Deck saving throw. Let's uh, see. DC 14. Sorry, 13. 19. 19. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> does she take half or anything or no? I shakes half um, Hellish Rebuke, I believe. Oh, yeah, she does. Okay, hold on. Hey. Thank y'all. 92. <laughs> Okay. Uh, she takes three. Three. Yay. Okay. She I'm... takes she takes one because she's actually resistant. <laughs> we have it again. <laughs> it's a little lick of slate and just like you you light a match and just throw it at her. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Rude. Um <laughs> it's winter's turn. Winter finisher. I'll try. Hammer. Um winter stalks forward and 
li- literally like closes up on her six. Like Gilly's on one side, they've been engaging and just dragging the hammer along the ground, leaving like a trail of like frost sparks. Kind of like the entire world is an anvil, and I'm simply dragging my hammer along the top of it, leaving a crust of winter behind me as I walk. I come up and I take my two swings at her back. Uh, That's a 19 to hit. That is. And a 14 to hit. That does not hit. Okay. Uh, Oh, you know what? Um, Arev will use his reaction and try and boost that by a d6. Eight. Okay. For his wheel. Which is a six. So that's a dirty 20. Both hit. Hey. Smite, 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 smite. I, and he's gonna smite for Might sure. As well. Um, so he's gonna smite with um one third level and one second level spell slot. So it's just a metric ton of damage. Okay. Uh so bludgeoning damage first. 7 plus 10 is 17, and then radiant damage is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's like 10. Third and second? Uh, it was third and second, and she's a fiend, right? So, yeah. So, so it'd be 96. The... Uh, yes. And then the improved divine smite would add for the one extra 1d8 on both of my attacks, which I didn't roll previously. So it's 11d8 yeah. that I'm rolling right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, oh shit. Okay. Uh, thirteen. Uh, nineteen on the first three. Plus a shit. Um, a, a twenty plus sixteen is thirty six. I have another five to roll. Um, do you want to continue? <laughs> <laughs> do plus... you do you want to continue? <laughs> Just for fun. You don't it, have to. I, I think it, I think I got fifty two total. <laughs> he comes up behind her and caves her back in. All right. And she falls to the ground. And as she does so, a blast of magic radiates out from her. And all of the zombies stop. I thought that and was going to be a thing. Drop. You hear bodies falling through the trees tons and tons of them and falling to the floor and cracking and noises that you never want to hear again. But you are out of combat. What do you do? Uh, Damascus immediately puts a hand on Faze's cheek, goes I love you dearly darling, but I gotta check on her. And then runs towards the side of the cliff. Wait, I'm gonna quit you! I immediately Grab- fly into my dragon form and yeah. I sail down. I would probably physically grab Damascus and we would just like I've got wings. Oh, he, he can, he's got wings. You grab oh. Faza because he can't. And then you can tell you can dimension door down, right? Hmm? Uh, Ty? Yeah, I can. But that's not what she's going to do at this very moment. Okay, so here's here's what's going to happen. We're going to do that and then I'll I'll jump back up to you. Okay, okay. I was so, gonna say Gilly, I think just kind of fell down on the ground and is staring up at the sky. So y'all can do what you're thinking. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so this, is the, this is the end of the session. I don't even we're know gonna, if you're gonna finish for... this. Hang on. I gotta get back. I moved I moved around too much. God damn it. Um <laughs> we are at back to Iowa, and that's where we were. All right. So you jump, you guys get to the floor. You're going to the ground, right? Winter winter cast lesser lesser restoration and heals Gilly. Yes, he does. Thank you. He puts a hand on you and you feel a hell of a lot better. But then he immediately takes to the sky because fell off. Um, Once you descend from the tree of three, you find the eldest druid's uh, frail frame and a like hundreds of more zombies that never made it up to you having been pulled into the ground and um ripped apart and 
full of spikes. But she is kneeling over Beloth's body. Beloth, the goddess of light, lies motionless at the base of the Tree of Three. Her once radiant form, now dull and lifeless. Her golden hair is matted with dirt and blood. Her once vibrant eyes are clouded over and empty, staring off into nothing. It's a haunting sight to see. The embodiment of more or less love and hope in this world has been produced to this state. Um, what do you do? I tell Bob to help her. How do we help her? What do we do? You don't hear Bomb anymore. Bomb is gone. You are him. And um, as you are thinking about this, one second, because this is all happening very, very quickly. Um, the air, the ground begins to shake. It begins to shake and sh and almost feels like your earthquakes are going to destroy this place. You're having trouble standing up straight. The air grows thick and heavy. The shaking doesn't stop. But in an instant, darkness fills the area. As Tamina, the goddess of darkness herself, appears before the party. Her uh, orange eyes are burning with anger. Voice low and, me and menacing, she looks at you. What did you do? She falls to the ground beside Beloth. What have you done? Everything we could to stop it. How do we fix it? I rush over to her. I I will put my sword on her chest. Whatever power she gave me, give it back to her. Bring her back. There is not her power in this. She reaches out, cradles Beloth to her chest. You see her begin to cast a spell. Light forms in Beloth's chest and then dissipates. And you see a tear come from Tamina's eye. Try again. I, I will help her if I can. I'll put the highest level healing magic I got. She won't come back for me. A soul has to be willing. As she, another tear comes, she scoops it off of her hand and it becomes almost shimmery. She takes, she flourishes a hand and a vial appears and she puts the tear in it and she hands it, she hands it to you, Damascus. Uh, you need this. You will need this for her. How do we bring her back? What do I do? That's when the eldest druid speaks up. I can help her. Don't. I can fix this. You see, there's a moment where Tamina looks at the eldest druid and they, something passes between them. You could roll insight on this if you like. Tell me everything. Tell you everything? 28. 28? She's more likely to answer and seen than she is to answer Timina. But to bring her back, this is going to create this is going to this is going to kill the eldest druid this will be the end of the eldest druid she has not much time left in her and she will be giving up a part of her she'll be giving up her soul 
to put to bring Beloff back. She looks at you and she goes, Enough. I can do this. We will bring her. We we need to bring her back to my to my house. And at that moment, at that moment, as you go to pick her up, you hear, oh. <laughs> well, what have we here? Hello, lover. And you turn to this voice. And you see Beloff standing there. Holding this sword that had been forgotten of ah. Ed Edwin's. I had been wondering where my little Elaine had gotten off to. I feel her here. Savina, it has been some time. <sighs> And you, <laughs> <laughs> you look at Tamina looks at her and goes oh shit looks down at Beloth looks at her looks down at Beloth what did you do and Beloth the evil Beloth because she is she is Elaywin's Beloth you know she's hotter she is so much hotter because evil is always more sexy. Walks over to you, Damascus, puts a finger under your chin and goes, I can give you those powers right back, honey. Actually, I feel you've made quite a few deals with her, haven't you? With me. With her. <laughs> I am her. And you know... I think I like it here. And she disappears. A laywin. What are you doing? So in this moment, when all of this is going on down there, yep. uh, a laywin, the moment like everything ended and the chaos <laughs> is over, she like booked it over to Talon and just like, goes to hug him because all three of his people in the same spot, she's like literally welling up with tears because she is so just relieved to see all three of them in one spot and they're all safe. You, mm -hmm. Talon immediately turns to Callum and starts checking him over. You run over and they kind of turn to you and you throw your arms around Talon and he goes, oh, Okay. <clears throat> there, there, dear. In the moment, she, like, forgot where she is versus where she's been. And she, like, pulls him tighter just a little bit. Okie dokie. <laughs> and in his ear, she's going to go, Don't worry, Mortimer. You'll remember. We'll figure it out. And she steps away. And I think as she like releases Talon and like takes the step away, I think the tattoo would like crawl up her neck to be visible. When you say his name, you feel him stiffen before you let go. He looks at you like you've never seen that look of I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh, Like you've never seen it on his face, period, ever. But now it's looking at you. And then you'll remember and you step back. He looks at you and he sees the tattoo kind of go up and he looks confused. I don't know who you are. But you have a lot of explaining to do. And as that, as he says that, you see Callum's tattoo walk across his neck looking yeah. for the drama because he's here for it. Uh -huh. And that's where we'll call this session. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Gilly, finally, Gilly finally makes it down the stairs. What did I miss? 
<laughs> Did we find Bella? <laughs> oh god. That was an intense like fucking BBG oh fight. Mm -hmm. uh. Shit, guys. Uh. Shit. Yeah, that was absolutely wild. The, oh my the gosh. Four hours of stress in the most beautiful Fuck. way. Oh my god. I'm sorry it went so long. Um... No, don't be. <laughs> Who needs to? Oh my um... gosh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll call it. Well, okay. I, I am I sneeze stars, and I have been your shenanigans offer this evening. Uh, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying things. I'm Dan. <laughs> you can find me as the Damascus speed of, speed of candy on all of the various internet places. I was Damascus, and my brain doesn't work. Uh, I, I do big damage and <laughs> try to save pretty god. Somebody take over. Carol, save me. I'm Caro. I am imaginary Caro and corner Caro on the internet. Today I was Gilly Glane, and she's still alive, and I ca I'm calling that a win. <laughs> Woo! Hi. Hi, Pyrea. Uh, you can find me as Pyrea on socials. I am a very stressed out Alay Winolanthus, the chronology wizard. Uh, take it away, James. Hi, I'm James. I go by Masics from Masics 24. I was Arav Dezark, our um, guy who had the boyfriend dropped off the tree and had that uh, cute Irish voice in the back of my head asking for justice, um, uh, who, who I believe got it today. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, <laughs> hang out in our Discord <laughs> you next week as we figure out more of what nonsense is happening with evil gods. And <laughs> I, w I just please come help us figure this out. <laughs> uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>